And now, it is time for the global phenomenon known as Wrestle Mania. It is finally here! We welcome you to Houston, Texas. Welcome to the Global Phenomenon. Welcome to the biggest event in WEDF history. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, from all around the world to WrestleMania. We are live with over 80,000 people in attendance. Frank Dahl, Ocho Jackson, Matt to that ring sign, and guys, I've yeah. never experienced a feeling like this. I mean, I... Magnitude. Oh my god, I mean, this, this is unbelievable. This is like the most people I've ever seen in one arena and this is coming for me as a current DCO champion right now. I've never seen so many people. Truly it's a great feeling to be a WEDF superstar here tonight. This has to be an amazing feeling for everybody in the back tonight. This is going to be extraordinary. Let's kick it off with our first match of the night. Shawn Michaels versus Triple H. This has been a very heated feud. Heated in, the, heated in the sense that Shawn Michaels and Triple H, well, they've been going back and forth with each other. It started with Michaels' losing streak, mainly at the Royal Reckoning, where Shawn Michaels lost to John Morrison. Triple H pretty much told Michaels that he he just wanted, he should retire. He, he just didn't have it anymore. Weeks ago, D-Generation X had a shot at the t uh, WEDF Tag Team Championships, currently held by Too Cool. And they lost, and it's led to this. It has led to this where D-Generation X talked about a possible rematch only for Shawn Michaels to stab Triple H in the back and say, I want you at WrestleMania. Shawn Michaels known to stab people in the back. But it's kind of Triple H's fault too for this. But Mr. WrestleMania, Shawn Michaels, he can deliver. This is his turf. I mean, that so losing streaks is aside, I think Shawn Michaels is the favorite in this matchup. I believe he is too, because when it comes down to WrestleMania, no man delivers a better performance, or should I say, more inspiring performance than that man you see right there, the heartbreak kid, Shawn Michaels. And this is a little surprising thing I see. Shawn Michaels is actually opening WrestleMania for once. But even though he's opening it, you can bet this match will be at least three stars, just for Shawn Michaels. It's going to be a show stealer nonetheless. There you see Shawn Michaels' former best friend, Triple H. The king of kings, the game. The game. Triple H said all, all Shawn Michaels needed to do in order to face him, he just ask. All he had to do. Well, he didn't want to ask. He wanted to make his point known. That's why he delivered that sweet chin music. It doesn't matter who you are with Shawn Michaels because when it comes down to it, Shawn Michaels does what he thinks is correct. Shawn Michaels will do what Shawn Michaels wants to do, whether Triple yes, H yes, likes it will. or not. Please do, uh... But even though Shawn Michaels is, in, is the favorite of this match, you can't count out Triple H. That's correct, he's a 13-time world champion, I believe. I bet, think 13, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Sounds about right. And Triple H is uh, known to have his own WrestleMania moments, too. And to address, you did see my friend Matt Eichhorn at ringside. He's sitting here at the commentary table with us, but he's not talking. Matt has chosen to focus 100% on his match with Suspect you here tonight, me? and I respect him for it. All uh, joking and all, Eichhorn's gonna beat Suspect here tonight. He's muted himself, he's not gonna talk because he needs to be 100% focused on this moment here tonight, where if he wins Platinum Age, me and Homer both will get into- uh, Like I said, I talked to my dad. Anytime we want. Speaking of focus, look at the game right here. He's focused on Michael. Uh, the cerebral assassin, and he might have to use way. his technical skills tonight. 
Both men are, everybody at WrestleMania is focused on the task at hand. This is WrestleMania. Everyone needs to be on their A game. They need to be driving it like they stole it. They need to deliver the performance of their lifetime here because this is not just any show you would see. This isn't Raw. This isn't SmackDown. This is the grandest stage of them all, the biggest show in WEDF's history, WrestleMania, right here, right now. Shawn Michaels, look at that arm bar, working on the arm of Triple H. You saw those, uh, you see those crotch, the, uh, crotch chops, and it's telling me this might be a little bit of a friendly battle. Not taking, you know, any less seriously, but... I think this is more than a friendly battle. I think they're trying to get into each other's heads. These two know each other so well. They've been friends since for a long, long time. They've been, been friends many for, times. they've been friends for nearly 20 years, so if there's anybody who's going to know fine. what it's like to wrestle against these two men, it, it has to be these two men themselves. Now Shawn Michael Triple H goes from behind. What is the strategy for these yes. both of these men in this matchup? I don't have to oh, ground. DDT. Oh. I don't know if grounding Shawn Michaels is the same thing. We never see Shawn Michaels go to the top rope, but I mean, for Shawn Michaels, momentum is crucial. Once you have it, do not let go of it. Keep it. Your main point here tonight is not to put on a show for the fans, even though you want to do that. You've had this losing streak. And you fled all the way up to here. A cover privilege with the DDT of his own. We saw Shawn Michaels go for one earlier. You've come this far just to get a match with your best friend and try to fix where you went wrong. Now let it pay off. Beat your best friend. Do what you say you can do for once and win. Although Shawn Michaels trying to overpower Triple H might not be the smartest idea. You gotta get some speed to try to like that. Take down like yeah, that. Like that. A Jason Matthews top roll up. Yes. And he's Michael. not Heath Slater anymore, and Bryce Canyon is still not gay. Oh, that's DCO. I'm not sure if we should be talking DCO or on the Triple H Shawn Michaels match. Triple H. The court one to be outside. Ooh. This is exactly what Triple H needs to do. This is what he needs to do to Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels needs to try to conserve his momentum and he needs to keep it. Triple H, however, needs to take the momentum when Shawn Michaels has it. Shawn Michaels had it and what's the A baby attitude adjustment. Oh, what's he going for? Shawn Michaels, he's known for this. Oh. Miss. Usually Shawn Michaels at it. Like a main event like this would hit that move. He crashed in the main. That, and that might uh, spell the and, end for Shawn Michaels. But remember though, Triple H knows Shawn Michaels like the back of his hand. He could see that move coming from a mile away. Give him credit for that. I mean, I do. That was a very impressive counter by Triple H. Uh, Triple H, oh, what a chop. Bunch of knife heads chopped so far. Look this is like a traditional wrestling match. That's what you're going to see from these two men. These two men are veterans. They're going to wrestle this match the way that works for them. Old school wrestling. By the books, textbook wrestling. And these <laughs> high impact moves you see Triple H hitting, this is exactly what he needs to do in order to beat Shawn Michaels here tonight. Bring him down right here. See the knee to the back. Shawn Michaels flips him out. Mm. Some shown showing the strength of Shawn Michaels as well. Shawn Michaels is also one of the best technical wrestlers oh. in the Ooh. business today. So going technical with Shawn Michaels is not really the best route to go. Oh, like Triple, I said, H. Triple H has to overpower him. Triple H is easily the he's easily the strongest of the two. These two kind of counterbalance each other because of their experience, but someone has got to give up here tonight. Only one is going to win this encounter here tonight. Now Triple H with some punches. In punches? 
Holy shot. Michael Snow for the moment. Oh, oh. Moonsaw. Oh. He perfect. Picture perfect Moonsaw. He connected this time with it. Made sure he learned from his mistake of attempting the moonsault the first time. As John Michaels Michael. is Ooh. Sean Michaels is probably one of the best. Sean Michaels is probably one of the best wrestlers at adapting in Shawn Michaels matches. Shawn Michaels gained huge momentum now. He's this in the is, zone. This is classic Shawn Michaels. This is the Shawn Michaels you are used to seeing at WrestleMania. And there's that. A uh, scoop slam right there it makes you think pop. one thing. Elbow Signature drop. elbow drop from Shawn Michaels. It's Shawn Michaels about to tour up the brand. Dragging him, getting him in position. Oh. Here it Here comes. He's moving it up, ladies and gentlemen. Triple H is probably moments away from tasting sweet, I, though he's no. not. Oh. That's Triple H. No, Shawn Michaels so well countered the sweet chin music and now Triple H gained momentum. Face oh. Buster. Very nicely done by Triple H. Triple H must know that sweet chin music was coming his way. Triple H has had a lot of the momentum of this match so far. It, it's not even about momentum. It's been back and forth between both of these men. No one man has gained a definitive edge over the I'll other. Race knee. Two are just going at it. Wait. Spine buster. Double A spine buster. Oh. Triple H might be setting up for it. Race, ladies and gentlemen. Are we about to see the pedigree? Yes, we are. Here it comes. Our rich. Here we go! Pedigree! Pedigree! Could that be all she wrote, ladies and gentlemen? Go for the cover! It's gotta be all. Gotta be all. One, One! Two! two and no! Oh. That, that was shocking. Oh, and Apparently. Shawn Michaels is busted open. Shawn Michaels is resilient. Of course he was going to survive after one pedigree. It's going to take a lot more to keep Shawn Michaels down. Shawn Michaels is hurting right now. He's losing blood at the minute. How much does he have left? Shawn Michaels doesn't have much left. Oh, that's yeah, right here. Very, very nicely done, next lady. Oi! Oh, kick off! Kicks it out of nowhere! Where did that come from? This is classic Shawn Michaels sweet shit music! Nowhere! Where the that's hell did that come from? This could be it for the game! One, one, two, two. Oh! Holy Triple crap! Triple H kicks out of the sweet chin music! You could that was classic Shawn Michaels, ladies and gentlemen! Now, Shawn Michaels! Pedigree! Pedigree! Can we even say the pedigree? Yes, we will! Pedigree! It is pedigree! Ah, oh, Shawn Michaels will cover! This has got to be it! One, one, two! One, two. Oh, oh my! Out again! And this is just the first match of the night, ladies and gentlemen! Look look at Shawn Michaels. Michaels has a lot of heart! Michael is beating Abby. Shawn Michaels, like it or not, the man is resilient. Mr. You cannot put this man down easily when it comes to WrestleMania. Oh wait! Oh wait a minute! What? Now Shawn Michaels. What does he have left though? He's losing a lot of blood. Oh, oh it's on a drop. Shawn Michaels is reeling, ladies and gentlemen. It's a glory. Doesn't take Triple H down though. Well, this girl's too quick. He said, "We got to see another elbow drop." Here it comes. Here we go. Elbow drop. Connect. He's going to suit up the man! You just see the final mark! Tuning up the band! And Sean! Gets it! There it is! Gotta be over. One! One! Two! two. Oh! No. He oh! How in the world? Oh wow! Oh. Switching oh, music out so fast! Come from! Now that's gotta be over. This is Shawn Michaels, 
This is the Shawn Michaels we are used okay. to seeing. WrestleMania or not. Oh, so what's the difference? I'm just man. Like, I mean, like it's again. Brother. Like, uh, no. Three. No. Three. Three. Sean Michaels has died in a grueling match. What a match! He's too pulled out! And this is just the first match of the night, ladies and gentlemen! Look at this. It's almost like you're bored, so you're like, wanna train, bag up? That's how right now. I don't think it matters. Shawn yeah. Michaels. This is proof why he's Mr. WrestleMania. Yeah. We kind of need it here I since think he's also proven that like it or not, the Heartbreak Kid is finally back in business. Yeah. 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 HBK yeah. is yeah. here to stay. Yeah. 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 Triple H is hurting. Shawn Michaels, oh, look at that. True competitors, sportsmanship right there. Outstanding showmanship between Shawn Michaels and Triple H. A five-star match in just the first match of the night. Oh, my God. What a, is this going to be what WrestleMania is going to be based on our first match? What a show we're going to have tonight. I mean, I gotta say so myself, that, that was a great, great, great ending to that match. Very nicely done by Shawn Michaels to get some momentum back on his side. Think of, uh, next, think of matches, our next match coming up is going to be Bobby Lashley versus Kane. Oh, Battle of the... Why did make an impact? I've got to go with Kane in this match. Let's go I back miss to you. He's great. Go backstage. I, I would go, I would have to go with Bobby Lashley. <gasps> Type one not rooting for Kane? Well Bobby Lashley's a little lo younger and like Kane's so, interview. Desperation. That's correct, he made that debut at Hell in the Cell. Okay, that's kinda evil. Kinda like it. Kane is great. He's gonna win. Hell, hellfire raising up. Kane definitely motivated here. And as he said, he wants to prove that Bobby Lashley's attack a while back on him was nothing but sheer desperation. If I do say so myself, I think Bobby Lashley has made a mistake trying to pick a fight with the big red monster. It's probably not the wisest thing to anger Kane. Oh, the previous Kane. SmackDown, Kane and Goldberg picked up that tag team victory over Lashley and Sheamus. And La Lashley held his own, but Kane in the end got the got the upper hand in that tag team match. Well, now Kane and Lashley are going to fight it out for all the marbles. This is the rubber match between these two men. We will truly find out who is better between these two men. Here comes Bobby Lashley. Like he's chiseled out of stone. He's been he stoned. Looks, to, he's been able to out overpower Kane at times. He's gave him a dominator at one time on Raw 71 where he attacked him. Bobby I Lashley give, looks very, very determined right now. I will give Bobby Lashley credit where credit is due. The man is young. The man is athletic the man is very powerful i just think he he can't match up to kane here tonight kane's angry see that kane he's uh he told lastly that he's already made an impact and that's the last thing bobby lashley should want to do is piss off kane I mean, Kane has eaten guys like Bobby Lashley for breakfast back in his prom. Kane, Kane was able to dominate the Undertaker back in his prime with very little effort. Kane may be older, but he still has some of the fire under his, you know, skin, I guess. Took a best up to the limit as well. Exactly. This is exactly... What you have to think about when it comes to Kane. 
Kane is just as tough as his brother, maybe even tougher in some aspects. Kane is just one of those guys who is just unorthodox. Just there's no way you can pinpoint an exact strategy on him because he can take your strategy, turn it around on you, and make you look stupid for even trying to plan it out in the first place. Oh, that's the bell to belly That's a power. That's 320 pounds. What is the strategy for Bobby Lashley, knowing his amateur background? Oh, look at the strength. Look at the suplex. Well, the one thing I think he does have over Kane would probably be his speed. And, with the, and you know, speed with that kind of strength, it's a dangerous combination. If and Lashley like, is able to get the momentum, I think it could be the spell the end for Kane. Well, and like, uh... And like I talked about a little bit ago, Bobby Lashley is not just the generic powerhouse. He is athletic. And like Matu said, Lashley is one of the most agile men oh. for his size. Pick up Caleb Eads. By the rope break, Kane Anders foot into the rope. Still, though, I mean, you have to give credit to Bobby Lashley. For being able to stand in the same ring with Kane this this He's this far. He's overpowering Kane. Kane's in front wall. Calling. That could be a huge mistake. It's been proven to be a big mistake before, namely with Smokey. Oh, Full Nelson got it locked in. This they could also weakens the choke slam. Yes, it does. Well, this could also be a big factor for Bobby Lashley, too. Remember, Lashley has had some MMA training himself. That's a big advantage over a guy like Kane. We have uh, cover that one. We have Bobby Lashley, Batista, and Brock Lesnar in uh, mixed martial arts. All you need is Goldberg. You got the whole set. <laughs> Exactly. But if Bobby Lashley, but if Bobby Lashley was able to take Kane down and get him in a submission, it could be all over for Kane. Lashley was known some time ago in total nonstop Russo to have a deadly dragon sleep, or maybe that could come into play tonight here against Kane. Kane's coming. Oh, Lashley power Kane again. Lashley's been dominating most of this match. Oh. Slammed him hard. Oh, it's fine, Buster. Let's uh -oh. it. Oh, he's got him set up. Lashley. Spear. Devastating spear from Bobby Lashley. I I think this is. Go for uh -oh. the oh. oh, no. This is not good news. For Bobby Lashley. Th this is bad news for Bobby Lashley. This is the exact mistake that you can make against Kane if you are not careful. Oh, flying clothesline. Kane is making Bobby Lashley Oh, pay. wait a minute. I am in the hell. Oh, oh, and hell may be calling Bobby Lashley's name with that choke slam. Here's the cover. One, One two, two, two. Oh. Kicked, oh. Out. Kicked out. That's even if Bobby Lashley doesn't win this match, you got to give him all the credit in the world. I think Bobby Lashley wants to win this match though to make an impact to not only himself but to everyone else in the locker room that says that he beat Kane. That's very correct, but it's also it's also proven that Lashley has the credentials. Just look at how impressive he's been against Kane to this point. Kicked out of the choke slam. Now Lashley, oh, he has Kane up again. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, here we go. Oh, that running power slam. Very he, nicely done. Oh, wait, he just, that move's been known to finish off some people, too. Yes, if your name is Davy Boy Smith, rest in peace. Didn't Bobby Lashley hey. used to use a running power slam, too? I thought he did. He did. He did. I don't think he ever used it to finish off a match, though. Yeah, I, I thought he did, because he, he, like, stopped, he, he dominated when he went. Beat Rob Van Dam with it. Yeah. He's... Oh, oh, he's in, oh, oh. Kane. Scoop slam. What's he going for here? Oh, Kane shoots him and shows him his own with a drop kick. Ah, that that looked like it hurt. One, One with one, the cover. Two. Two. You've seen Abyss do that as well. 
Very unorthodox from the big red monster. Very out of his element, but a very nice surprise to see against a guy like Bobby Lashley. Kane, Kane just trying to... Oh. One. Two. Two. And I think Kane, Kane is now starting to take advantage of Bobby Lashley. He knows Bobby Lashley's energetic, and he knows that he needs to have quick covers as soon as he can on Bobby Lashley after big impact moves. Otherwise, Lashley is going to keep hitting him with the late suplexes and power slams all day. And you can see Kane's hurting. Could also be. Oh, wait a minute. Side slam. Powerful oh. sidewalk slam from Kane. I think he might, he's going up top. I think he's he has on. Statistic work on his face. Oh, he he's just waiting. Oh, close line. Signature close line from Kane. Oh, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. He's got him oh, set. Damn. All Second. the yeah. way to hell. That's got to be it now. There's no now is hell calling Bobby Lashley's name. Two, two, three. Kane in an impression in an uh, an impressive match tonight. Both these men should be proud of their performance. Okay, this proves why you shouldn't be taking off a monster. <laughs> Bobby Lashley, oh, he dominated the first like part ready. of the match. But right as soon as Kane rose up and took, stood up from Lashley's devastating spear like it was nothing, the match went completely downhill. I think the element of surprise truly helped Kane thrive and survive and win in this matchup right here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. You gotta be happy about that victory. It's very, very, very impressive. Up next, though, this match is going to be extreme. Very personal feud. Jeff Hardy challenging Rob Van Dam for the Intercontinental Championship in an extreme rules match. And there's Jeff Hardy. He's, He's getting ready up. for his moment. Intercontinental Championship match coming up. Like I said, this is very personal. It started very, very, very personal. When Jeff Hardy went to see him punch the heart RVD's back, and Jeff Hardy says he's tired of RVD controlling him. Jeff Hardy mm -hmm. must be free. Just one of members of the 420 Society. Remember, in that match at the World Recording that Break Dog was talking about, factions were on the line. CM Punk straight at Society against Rob Van Dam's 420 Society. The 420 Society was lost on that night. But ever since then, Rob Van Dam and Jeff Hardy have never seen eye to eye. Rob Van Dam hates Jeff Hardy, does not like Jeff Hardy. But I got to tell you something right oh, now. Jeff, Jeff Hardy, he's come back in such a big way ever since the 420 Society. I think he's actually right. Ever since the 420 Society, Jeff Hardy has been shining brighter in the WEDF scene than he ever has before with Rob Van Dam. Although that might just be his face paint. Well, that number one contenders match in that fatal four-way involving just that Kofi Kingston and The Miz. And now oh. he gets this match here the tonight. The Platinum Age, RVD is the new Intercontinental Champion. Here he comes. And remember, folks, this guy is Jesus. Take a look. I love this new look on Rob Van Dam, but in all seriousness, I am rooting for Jeff Hardy here tonight just because of the fact that Jeff Hardy, I, I mean, I don't know what it is, but Jeff Hardy has actually gotten me inspired a bit, and he hasn't wrestled like he has in total nonstop Russo in real life, but that's another story. Totally no action. Exactly. We got RVD. What is the strength? Homer says he's rooting for RVD so we can celebrate with drinks. Showing his non-straight edgedness. That's okay, Homer. I still love you. Both these competitors are very experienced in these type of matches. Weapons are legal. Anything can go in this match. Extreme rules. RVD, you see, this is, this is about some of the most focused I've ever seen RVD be. 
Most folks well, have seen Jeff Hardy beat. I think these two want to get their hands on each other, but I think another thing to think about here, although I am rooting for Jeff Hardy, Extreme Rules. Rob Van Dam comes from ECCW, was a former ECCW champion, and I got to say, Extreme Rules should be right up Rob Van Dam's alley in Hardy. this match here tonight. Or Jeff Hardy in the numerous wider matches he's headlined involving Extreme Rules. Not to mention the TLC matches, which are considered some of the best matches ever. One, two. Some of the greatest matches of Jeff Hardy's young career. I think we're going to see a lot of fast-paced action in this matchup. These, both of these guys are accomplished high flyers. Don't accomplished care. high flyers and chain smokers alike. Oh, drop kick. Look at this match back. going quick. Both of these men like to fly, keep the pace quick. Kind of a neckbreaker type move there. Oh, wait. He just bulldogged their ass. Like it matters in this match, they can't get disqualified for it. Jeff this Hardy, oh, whispering oh, in the, the wind! RVD tried to get out of the way. I don't think the whisper in the wind connected with all the force he wanted either. Okay. That's so RVD knew where he's at. Oh no! <coughs> Good boys! RVD over the top rope. He's looking for oh, oh. He's got a table. In a chair. Oh, Jeff Hardy's got the chair. The Dudleys. I mean, Devon, get the tables. Wait, did I say Devon? I meant to say camo pants. Yes, Hogan versus player reference. Watch it! Try to run again on that table. Rob Van not, Dam. Being, not being very successful at it. Oh. Oh, well, this time he does. And there it is. He's on the table. Rob Van Dam, known for his atomic botching. Oh, this kid out for Jeff, Jeff Hardy. Oh, no! Oh, oh. 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 Look who's out of the way. Are <coughs> we just crashed the burn? I don't think he was even close to hitting Jeff Hardy. Oh, at first. Smashing his arm into the uh, turnbuckle post. That could be a very good thing for Jeff Hardy. We can see ability for Rob Van Dam to climb up to the top turnbuckle and proceed to do that five-star frog splash. Very correct. RVD can't swing his arms in the five-star frog splash. Now no. Jeff Hardy. Oh, now Hardy's going to try it. wonder if he's going to be uh, more successful. Oh, here we go. Oh, 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 my God! Oh, my God! do Wait for a moment. Steal the show. The legend floor. Extreme Enigma. And Jeff Hardy, all gaining momentum. He's just all over the place oh, right now. Wait for a little bit of a roll-up. I'm alive. One, One two. two. That veteran instinct from Rob Van Dam, that champion instinct, reacting very quickly to curb that Jeff Hardy momentum before we had it. That could have that could have saved RVD the match too. Oh, by the way, Homer says shades of Jason Matthews on the roll up. But anyway, both of these men, if you notice, wait a minute. Oh wait, wait, oh, oh, oh. both of these men are two-time Intercontinental champions. Jeff Hardy, when will we come up? Holy Rob Van Dam! Dam. Look Holy out! Thunder. Holy thunder! Jeff Hardy, Rob Van Dam, and the late, rest in peace, Umaga, are the only two-time Intercontinental Champions. Jeff Hardy again! Oh. Ah! So Jeff Hardy is a three-time Intercontinental Champion tonight. I think these guys have a table fetish. I think they do too. Hey, it wakes your opponent. It does. It does indeed. It weakens your opponent, and it also makes us, us in the pre-recorded crowd say, "Holy shit!" Oh, oh, oh. Shit. shit, man. Perfectly timed there for me to say, "Holy shit!" Oh my god. 
Oh my god! I I think that could be the turning point of the match right there. But Jeff Hardy's getting up like nothing is oh, wrong. Oh. Just he caught him in the leg. That can't the be very good to the leg. The human daredevil, he, he just has no soul right here. Able to stand up after all of that punishment. He has just suffered now. Oh, here comes oh. the steel oh, Jeff Hardy, he's been known to steal the show. Look at what he did Survival of the Fist inside the Elimination Chamber. Oh, he got the title. Got the Intercontinental Championship. Sizing him up. Oh! Just back and forth they go, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! Oh my! <laughs> He's got a ladder. Jeff Hardy specialty. Oh! We've seen oh, everything man. here oh, in just the first. Well, just what? Oh! First, oh! Oh! oh. oh he, that's gotta hurt Jeff Hardy's ribs. That is not good for the human daredevil. Now this gives. Oh wait a minute! He just got up like nothing was wrong. They're fighting on oh. the ladder. And all of he quickly throws him off. Ugh. Oh! Oh! Man! Look at that! that. Look at that circle. Oh. I gotta say, ladies and gentlemen, we've seen it all in just about the first hour. We've seen a great technical match. We've seen a great powerhouse match. Now we're seeing a great hardcore brawl fight to the finish. And for championship gold. Getting a table. And hold oh, it, oh! Put a question burn. This will be the turning point. Smacking him around with that wooden table. <clears throat> but Jeff Hart gets right back up. And oh, oh. Perfect. Oh, perfect. Ah, get your perfect drop kick. Both of these men are just tearing each other apart. I love it. Let's see more of it. Come on. Jeff Hardy, let's bring him in. Oh. This could do it. Yeah. One, two, 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 two. I want to make Jeff Hardy out. to finally beat Rob Van Dam with a third Intercontinental Championship. What would it mean for him? It would be amazing. I can history and beating up someone he doesn't like at the same time. I think it gotta be that. I think it, the fact that it's at WrestleMania, I think it will be the one of the greatest moments to come in Jeff Hardy's career, and also highlight just how much Jeff Hardy has truly evolved ever since his time in the 420 Society. It has really made a change in his lifestyle. Big change. Jeff Hardy actually reunited the Hardys. In a tag match against RVD and Edge a while back. So Jeff Hardy really wants to be that fan favorite again. He's trying to make a difference in his life and I can't you can't hate that. Again it, it's just everywhere. This match keeps going up down, up down, up down, up down, up down, up wait, wait, down. I I I might might this fight with all this flying around. I think R V D might be bleeding. Oh he is. Busted wide open. Uh, oh, D. Cross body. And now he's looking to bust Jeff Hardy open. He does. They're just going through hell. They're tearing each other apart. Yes. Oh my God. I mean, Jesus. Woo. They're putting their bodies on the line just to just to smite each other. Not even ten minutes into this matchup. I don't know how much longer these two men can go. They're giving it everything they got. I, I they probably won't be able to go much longer. These two have got to be worn out. This Stop has been the title though. This has been personal. This has been poor championship gold. Oh. This is exactly what you want to see. Blood weapons championship opportunity and drive. Wait, it's not said that. With that kendo stick. Reminds me of Steve Blackman in his glory days with the Attitude Era. RVD just busted open. He's got to be losing a lot of blood right now. 
Jeff Hardy swinging that steel chair around. Hardy is a madman right now. Just going to town. Oh, oh wait a minute! Look at this! Jeff Hardy! Shades of Sabotage! Triple jump mood salt! That, and that might be a shot at Shab, uh, Rob Van Dam. He's just going to the no, Arnie no, didn't mean, really care about Sabu. He kicked, got Sabu fired from ECCW. Oh, oh that's a Tom bomb. That's the way to... Arnie, go for the cover. Come on. You got the championship match won. Wait, what are you doing, Jeff? Jeff, this could be a mistake. This could be a big, big mistake for Jeff Hardy. Look at that Rob Van Dam standing up. But Jeff Hardy wisely taking advantage. Setting him up on the table. Oh. Oh no. Oh, Jeff no. Hardy is looking to live for the moment. He wants to finish this in style for the WEDF fans. Going up to the top. It's a ball. Oh, oh. Come in here. The oh. table. Number one, two, three. We Jeff, Hardy, Jeff Hardy becomes a three-time WEDF Intercontinental Champion in a great Extreme Rules match. My he just God, it. what a four. What an end. Very, very nicely done by Jeff Hardy. These men have just gone through hell. For this Jeff Hardy didn't want to finish at the Spawn Tom Bob. He wanted to drive us through a table off the ladder. That's what Jeff Hardy lives for. And that's why he's the new Intercontinental Champion. What a match these two put on. It's so stealer. That was definitely... All these matches, honestly, on the card could be a show stealer. Brasilia has already shaped up to be better than expected. Which... And we expected a lot from it, so you can tell how good it is. Exactly. What's up next, Frank Dog? It's Mr. Kennedy challenging MVP for the United States Championship. Both former world champions. That match is next. Yes, we'll be right back. Kennedy! And now it's time for the United States Championship as we are live. From Houston, Texas, for WrestleMania, over 80,000 in attendance. Here comes Mr. Kennedy, a former world champion in his own right. Something about this match, though, is uh, when Kennedy got hurt, MVP was the one who replaced Kennedy in that elimination chamber at Survival of the Fittest. And he won the World Heavyweight Championship because of it. That's the case, sustained an injury. MVP claimed that Kennedy's injury prone. Kind of all those. I can't. I, can't I, I have to agree with MVP. Oh, MVP interrupted Mr. Kennedy right there. I think Kennedy's all business tonight. Not even going to worry eat. about grabbing the mic. Why would he? MVP is his target. This is a man that cost him the World Heavyweight Championship at Survival of the Fittest. Actually, Kennedy got injured. MVP was just a replacement. Yeah. Still, who cares? But MVP that berated could have been him. That could have been him defending the championship had it not been for MVP. He still him. lost it, actually. As MVP has berated Kennedy in his injuries, calling him injury prone. Kennedy won that number one contenders match. Involving Zach Garfink and Jack Swagger and another one. Regardless, who regardless, it could be some poetic justice for Kennedy to actually beat MVP for the United States Championship here, wouldn't you think? Well, these two men have been compared to each other a lot of times. They've, they've uh, teamed up together against Kane and Undertaker, that cocky two group of superstars. And these two were once considered the fastest rising stars in uh, WWE. And one of them went for total nonstop Russo and became an asshole. Literally. He still is. Oh, MVP's working on Mr. Kennedy with those shots. What a clothesline. Oh, Flatjack. 
Uh, Homer shot. S. Correct me about total nonstop Russo. He is correct. It's not total nonstop Russo. It's total nonstop Hogan. Because as we all know, TNA was never that bad when Vince Russo was booking. It was so bad, but still. By the way, Mr. Kennedy is. Kennedy is full of MVP so far. Another flapjack. Cover. Hard to hear for both superstars. I don't really see any. Their styles are pretty similar, and I just have to say MVP is a little older, so probably has the experience edge. This is a matchup that many have talked about ever since MVP debuted when Candy got that big role. One of the most expected matchups. And a, we got MVP chance. Well, that's surprising. Yeah. Kennedy. That leap frog is what actually what injured Kennedy in his match against Matt Hardy. Yeah, he injured his quad. That's that Matt Hardy capitalized and won the World Heavyweight Championship. That's exactly nice. right. Scoop slam. I don't know about this match. This Seems like one of those filler matches. Yeah. The crowd is the crowd's really in the MVP though. Which is pretty surprising. Yeah, Candy's the big fan supposed to be the big fan favorite. Regardless, even if this is a filler match, this is still WrestleMania. These men are gonna go out there and give it their best. This may not be one of the best this may not be one of the best hyped up matches on the card. But it's definitely going to be a good match as is. And a scoop slam. It, it's, it's really important for these guys to be on the WrestleMania card, no matter how, no matter which match it is in. The MVP, what a shot! Can the MVP is been in control throughout this whole matchup, mainly. And somewhat to the delight of the crowd. Oh, well, well, one, two. Kennedy kicks out. I gotta say, MVP as a champion, he is very used to being in this spot. He knows what it's like to be a champion. He can defend like a champion. This man has got the heart of a champion, so to say. Kennedy has been held championship gold before, too. Has he held it long, though? No, he has not. And again, neither has MVP. But MVP can at least defend like a champion. And wait a minute. Rolling elbow. is pulling. The MVP beat Zach starting. Really nice this championship. Two. And it seems that MVP in this match has the crowd on his side. Which might be a little surprising. Off the spine buster cover now. One. One. Two nice six. No. Was that a two count? Oh, one count. Bicycle kick. And now Candy, this could be the opening. He's gaining some momentum now. Leg drop. Another flapjack. Oh. Kennedy's getting hyped up. MVP. Oh, Kenny, roll him up. Roll up. This is the movie beat Ed for the one of the we beat mm. Benjamin, actually. Yeah, for the money in the bank case. Which, those ma two matches are still coming up to, uh, come up later. Yeah, two Money in the Bank ladder matches. Look at that, off the top rope. And the only one, for two. Two, two and kick out. So far, I don't think this match has been that bad. It's just a bit more of a brawl than anything. I mean, we need at least a little bit of cool off time. This is the cool off time we got right here after three amazing matches to start off the night. But you, have to give top, elbow drop. but you have to give it to both these guys. This feud might not be the most heated in the world, but they're still giving it their all in that ring right now. Katie giving it all with that elbow drop. Wants the United States Championship. Oh, Diddy D. United States Championship, like the Intercontinental Championship, is like the stepping point to the World Championship. Both these men, though being former world champions, this might be able to get them seen back in the eyes of the public 
and get another, get them another shot to Wataru. Oh! Wait a minute! That shoulder candy is... Oh, wait a minute, roll up! MVP rolls them up! One! One, two, two, three! three. MVP! Oh, look at the way his head hit that turnbuckle! Oh, that might have hurt. Kennedy might be injured again, but regardless, MVP retains the United States Championship. It capitalized off that Kennedy being over aggressive. This is exactly Kennedy's what I was saying. has to be hurt. That, this that was a, very painful. This is exactly what I was talking about when I said MVP fights like a champion. He takes any advantage when it's in front of him, and that's what Kennedy did. He left himself wide open with all this aggression he had against MVP, and that cost him here tonight. Yeah, but sure did, and MVP is still your, the United States champion. We've had one title change here tonight in the Intercontinental Championship. Well, this next match is not all, it's not just about the title, it's very personal. Danny Jackpot versus Kurt Angle. Ooh. The spot. A submission Angle. match. Yep. And let's take a look at how this feud came to be with this little video package. It all okay. started at Survival of the Fist. Look at Danny Jackpot, man. What the, oh, what the hell? Um. It's Danny Jackpot! I didn't see this coming.
And here comes Dave Jackpot. Whoa! He's come out to his old theme. Mm -hmm. Sorry, that's just the first thing I noticed. Dave Jackpot is coming out the coming of age. Yeah. This feels very personal. Angle claims that Danny took his that Danny took Angle's spot. Angle yeah. nearly ended Danny's career. You ran him over with the car. He, he nearly ended Danny's life. Danny Jackpot came back in the biggest way, winning at the Royal Reckoning in the Royal Reckoning match itself. Only to lose his spot to Kurt Angle, only for Kurt Angle to surrender his spot because Kurt Angle wants nothing more than to break Danny Jackpot's ankle, ladies and gentlemen. This is a, no wonder they imagine they submission that. Yeah, I'm, I'm in a uh, real shock here. Well, good shot, though. Danny coming out to his old theme. Here comes Kurt Angle. Well, it just shows you with Danny's old team, and he knows how to make an entrance, but let's not talk about him, let's talk about Kurt Angle. Let's talk about how far Kurt Angle has gone to get his hands on Danny Jackpot. Listen to this crowd. This crowd is in full disapproval of Kurt Angle. Do not like him, do not want him to win. That's a negative reaction. That this crowd's acting kind of weird tonight. First chanting of MVP. I think Bobby Lashley was cheered at some point. Regardless, Kurt Angle has the advantage in this match. Like, here we go. This match is underway. Now this personal feud. Match. It does favor Angle. They're already going. Going for the, 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 the submission. What is any strategy in this matchup? A oh, camel clutch. Survive. Survive. Danny Angle. does have a few submissions up this sleeve. But Angle, I don't think it, I don't think I could call him ever tapping out. Angle rarely, if ever, taps out. It is hard to keep that man on the ground long enough to lock in a submission. Much less can you even lock in a submission on with his amateur wrestling background. This man won, I, I believe it's been said a thousand times before, he won a gold so medal with a broken, the broken, broken freaking neck. Yes, thank you, Frank. Oh, Danny, Danny, Danny. Sharpshooter. Sharpshooter. Danny's no commitment. Sharpshooter. He hasn't really done any damage. Sharpshooter. He's trying to go. Just, oh. And again. Angle gets out. Angle getting out of the quick. Belly to belly. Seems like this. Oh, Angle just taunting Danny. Angle is just taking his time. The Angle wants to end Danny here. Oh, Danny he was, right wall. He, he was weak in big time. Angle, however, is not going to try to rush it. If I were Angle, I would stick to your method. Stick to oh. what you know. Oh, no, you can ground Danny Jackpot. Hit him with high impact moves. Throw Danny off kilter. He, you can hit him with high impact, you can keep him on the ground, just don't overdo one of each, and you'll be good at wait a minute! Angle with the Boston Crab! Applying that Boston Crab submission on Danny, and Danny's in trouble! And here's an interesting situation. I know we're not supposed to be getting uh, information on the fly though, but the ankle lock has been banned from the matchup as a stipulation. Oh! What? what? I wonder who did that, Teddy Long! Oh wait, well, I go on. I think. Oh. I don't... I don't know if that counts. No, it's a half Boston Crab. Oh. That's the next best thing for Kurt Angle. It's not an ankle lot. I think Angle's about to get himself disqualified and then realize that he couldn't do the ankle lock. There really shouldn't be disqualifications in a submission match. Learn from Bret Hart and Steve Austin, you fags. That match was great. 
It was. I, I love him. So far, Danny yeah. has not been able to get out of the gate. He's hit that one submission move, but Angle's been in control of this whole matchup. Well, this match really does favor Angle. Danny's not 100% either. Oh, wait a minute. Triple Germans! You also think about Angle. He's been 100% while Danny has been taking an ass beating from after the Royal Reckoning to now. I mean, oh, Angle's got him up. <coughs> uh, neck breaker. From Danny. Wait a minute. Get... Angle's. Angle, oh, wait a minute. No. Oh, Big oh. Ow. Yeah. Dave Jackson's gotten to hell. He went to Undertaker. I think he went, had to go against the great Kyle Lee. Just not a... Oh, wait. Oh, Dragon Sleeper. Angle against the best. There it is. That Dragon Sleeper that Danny is famous for in OCL for all of us OCL alumni. Ooh. Oh, Angle gets out. Angle knows how to get out almost every submission. Oh, hell, he counted the Undertaker at no way out, if you remember. Pinned him off of that triangle choke that Undertaker had on him, too. Danny's to the outside now. Oh, no count out. Oh, ain't just taunting him. I don't think Danny appreciate that. I have to say, if I'm Danny... If I'm Danny Jackpot, I guess the only thing you can really do is rely on the fans. Nelson. Full Nelson. And, but he let it go. Ooh, European uppercut. Uppercut of his own. If I'm Danny Jackpot, I guess the th thing I have to do is angle working on that arm. Look at that. Danny has to rely on the fans. His fans are the best shot he's Again. got at winning. Oh, once again, let it, lets it go before it can get, you know, disqualified. Just working on his arms and his legs. This is what I was talking about with Angle being methodical. Stick to your method. Stick to what you know. If you are Danny, you have a lot of fan support. Sharp shooter. Sharp shooter again. Danny walking in the sharpshooter. That's not going to be enough on Angle. I can tell you that already. But we can be in the section at least. For oh. the time being. Angle's These fans out. Oh. are cheering for Danny. Though I know there's a lot of fan oh. support for Danny. Unlike there was at the Royal Reckoning. Regardless. Regardless though, Danny, if I'm him, use the game of momentum to your advantage. You can work these fans. Wait, Danny, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, cross arm bar! That's a rope break. Wait. Rolling cross arm bar in shades of uh, Alberto Del Rio. Alberto Del Rio, I can confirm. Well, he has signed a contract with WEDF, will be debuting in season two. Whoa! And that's a big surprise, Alberto Del Rio. Well, back to the matchup. Good stars in America. Hey, jackpot. Danny Jackpot's just taking it to Kurt Angle now. Trying to work oh, wait, what is this? What is this? Wait, wait. The dealer's cut! The dealer's cut from Danny Jackpot! Wait a minute. And wait a minute. The cash out! Get the cash there out! There it is! He's got a lot of mission now. He can't do a pinfall here. If he Camel was cut, Danny might have been able to pull it. Camel cut! Very, very nice for Danny to follow up on that. Drop him right on his head with the cash out and fall in that camel clutch, but it's still not going to be enough to keep Angle, Angle down. Angle's hurting, though. You can tell oh, from his midsection. Danny has played this game of momentum very well thus far until now. Oh, Danny's fighting back. Oh, the shot to the head. It's kicked in the stomach. Danny Jackpot is resilient. Oh, Again. Danny's still fighting. Danny's going to give it everything he's got. He's resilient. He's not going to go down oh, without a fight. He wants to be the arrow. Yeah. A double switch. Oh, yes. Referee asking Angle if he wants to quit. I don't think Angle, you can see, it shook his head. No, he's not oh. going to quit. I think Danny is trying 
Black Shark Shooter. That oh, oh, shark. oh, man. Shades of what happened on DCO with that German suplex into a Lutheran press. Yes, thank you for calling out a great Platinum Age tag team in the middle of a WEDF match, Frank Dog. Me and Homer love you. Oh, hey. Mark, uh, that's Lutheran really Rainer for Danny. Two, three, that's not going to let go that easy. That is not an ankle lock, remind you, ladies and gentlemen. That is a single leg boss and oh, crab. See how Angle drew, dragged him into the middle of the ring. We can't. He can't escape this. Uh, see, this could be he over. Have to stop. This he could have to be stop. over. Angle is still wrenching. Danny could tap out at any given moment. Is he gonna do it? You had it locked in for a little bit. Danny, Danny is oh, to nowhere to go. Angle Danny. still got it! Oh! Danny, no. Danny got out! Danny Jackpot fights off the single leg crab once again. Again, the very best thing that Angle uh, can abdominal do. Stretch. Yeah. Abdominal stretch of his own. A lot of submissions back and forth between Danny and Angle. Very, very good technical match for all you submission artists out there. Oh, belly to belly. Angle He's going for another he belly to belly. Belly to belly. And a third one. Oh, oh German German. That Danny's got to be just running on adrenaline now. He just, well, he's, he's, he's running on empty with just how much Angle is hitting him with these high impact moves repeatedly. He knows that Danny is running on fumes. He knows he has Danny where he wants him. Now he's just got to go in and finish the job. And Danny oh, goes wait a minute. Oh, no. Triple Germans again. Second one. And a and third. And a Danny's got to be. Oh, and another. Kurt Angle counters. Angle slam. Angle slam. He the end. Of the end. Dragging into the middle. He's got to lock. He's gonna lock it in. I believe. The oh, the here it is. It's a crab. That's gotta be it. It's Danny. It's Danny Cab. Kurt Angle wins. <laughs> Angle so just so out of abuse. element. Through so much abuse. Through so many sneak attacks. And through not taking a hit all the way through, I hate this, I hate to admit this, but Kurt Angle played very, very, very smart from the Royal Reckoning all the way up to now at WrestleMania. And because of it, he wins this submission match over Danny Jackpot. I'm pretty sure we haven't heard the end of it, though. Nonetheless, we know Angle's not going to let this go. Danny's not he either. He's not going to for Danny Jackpot. This is Angle's territory. <laughs> we would say what an event this WrestleMania has been. Yes, it's been a very, very great event. WrestleMania has not disappointed yet. Enough. And next up, ladies and gentlemen, we have the SmackDown Money in the Bank. Coming up, Christian, Evan Bourne, Zack Star, Shelton Benjamin, Jack Swagger, and R-Truth all fighting for a free shot at the World Heavyweight Championship anytime they want. See Christian and Jack Swagger getting ready in the back. They're ready to go. We're ready to get this underway, and so There's is Zack Star. Stone. Black attire. What does that, what that could mean? And there's gold standard Shelton Benjamin. He's the only Money in the Bank winner in WEDF. Can you do it a second time? At least in Money in the Bank. You can Zack Star. Who are the I, I'll have to admit, as much as I don't like this guy, he deserves to be here. He well, you know what? Zack Star is a metrosexual. He still dresses like a fag, but this man is great. Simply because he likes us, he likes PA, that man should wear white and gold. I gotta tell you that right now. He looks white, so white, good. White and blue tonight. Yeah. 
at least he's color coordinated and not wearing his white jacket with the black pants. Anyway, uh, Zach Starr, though, uh, I've, despite him turning on the fans, fans still love this guy. I've seen uh, on the WrestleMania comments, the predictions, they're predicting Zach Starr to win this match. Uh ho, here comes Jack Swagger, a former United States champion. A man that Zack Starr is very familiar with, speaking of which, Swagger has not seen much success after the Royal Reckoning, but he has a chance to turn that all around here tonight if he can become the Mr. Smackdown Money in the Bank. Oh, they for Jack Swagger, he's held the United States Championship before Money in the Bank. That's the next stepping stone for the World Heavyweight Championship. Jack Swagger, I'm going to count WWE in here, Jack Swagger has won Money in the Bank. Yes, but he's also been reported as the man who has taken the longest. I mean, I could have ran in the ring as a fan, knocked Swagger off and took the belt, that damn thing for myself, and I would be Money in the Bank. Here comes Evan Bourne. Evan Bourne's been on a huge roll, beating Silk Benjamin and Zack Stern back-to-back weeks. I think he's got the dark horse. Ever since gaining a contract to get into the WEDF, Evan uh, Bourne... Since getting back into the WEDF, Evan Bourne's been on a roll. Evan Bourne has been surprising a lot of people lately. Like Frank Dog said, I gotta give it to Evan Bourne. He could be the dark horse. Here comes our truth. Lie detector! Yes. Lie detector! Lie detector! Yeah. And that was for my boy Matt. It'll be something that's up if our truth wins money in the bank. Get crunk. Get crunk. Right time for me to get crunk. I gotta say, his new theme is awesome. He needs to get it as soon as possible. Baby magician. I, I, it's sad that I can understand most of these lyrics. Well, well it's like fun. you're part black, aren't you? So yeah. Oh. Only if our truth the uh, Booker T uh, somehow turned better in this matchup. <laughs> I don't. It'll be big. He's the dark horse. Pun intended. Yeah, our truth is a pretty. It's a dark horse too. He's very popular with the uh, WDF fans. I think this is the great thing about this SmackDown Money in the Bank. There's a lot of guys in here who could be pinned as the dark horse or the true winner of the match. It's just that that great. That star, that much star power, that much talent, that much athleticism, all in this match alone. Any one of these people could win. Here comes the former WDF Money in the Bank winner, Shelton Benjamin. I gotta say, he's the favorite. I mean, he's won Money in the Bank before. He's not gonna screw up his second chance if he does win. I, I, I gotta say, this Money in the Bank match is probably Shelton's last hope, last best hope in trying to get something going for himself in the WEDF. Ever since he lost in Money in the Bank briefcase to Mr. Kennedy, he's hasn't been uh he's been on somewhat of a losing streak, not winning very few matches between then and now. He hasn't been as big of a name, as relevant of a name as he was. When WDF, anyone can win on any given night. Oh, and here comes my favorite. Here comes a favorite of mine, Antic wants too. I got him a five second pose. Christian, ladies and gentlemen. Listen to the I whole thing. I this think of all the players in this matchup, Christian is the most deserving of who should win this matchup. I mean, sure, I'm going with Chuck Mason as the favorite, but Christian's the most deserving. He's been here longer than anyone. I gotta agree with that statement. Christian, of everyone else, in Money in the Bank. He deserves to finally capture the Money in the Bank. And he, he has everything it takes to become a world champion. I believe that 
It could be that man's time. It could be the era of the instant classic, ladies and gentlemen. Captain Charisma. The coalition. He's trying to the climb coalition up the coalition on their feet. Keep the crowd just lost standing yeah. up. And the match starts. Evan Bourne gets a ladder already. Evan Bourne is playing smart. He's gonna try to go for the briefcase. Oh, Swagger hits him with a chair though. Oh, what is the strategy here in this matchup? Oh, Zach Stark taking out. Try to get, try to get to the briefcase as fast as you can. Oh, wait, Christian, why strategy? Speed, strategy, opportunity. You have to be quick. You have to know what you're doing. And you have to seize the moment at the right time, at the right place. I've been in one of these money, I've been in one of these money in the bank matches before in HCW, and I gotta say, it's not easy dealing with five other men chasing after you, gunning after the same prize as you're gunning for. All Robert at Ford. the same exact time. Look at Evan Bourne and Zack Star fighting on top of that ladder. Christian, what is he doing? Oh! Oh! oh. He just dropped Evan Bourne off the ladder. And Zack Star just right. elbow dropped our truth. Excuse me. It's a very crazy match. It's hard to call all this already. But what I can say is that, all, if you have noticed, all these guys are fairly quick. No. Swagger, Benji. Superstars. In WEDF, all of these superstars in this matchup, oh. this WEDF alone has never been the world champion. This action has I been extremely... Zack Star Ooh. could do that? Oh wait, that's right, he did it to me in that one match that shouldn't have counted, but it did anyway. Oh, Christian... Oh, Christian, Christian had to stand on the briefcase! Oh, that's not good. Oh. oh! They both take a hard spill. Ouch! Ouch. That fucking wire out of shit in his hands. Complete... <laughs> and utter chaos between all six of these men. Oh, and scissors to Jack Swagger from Zack Star. Look at Star with that ladder. Star, Star really wants this. He's been in the shadow of Danny Jackpot so long, and this is and this is his chance to get out of it. This star claims to a Star claims to be the star of SmackDown. Tonight could be his moment. Tonight could be any of these six men's moment to have the whole universe, the whole WEDF universe from top to bottom. All these 80,000 fans and the people watching this at home to look at this guy start, and say, start, start, this start, man start, is going to be the future. the big Got it. He's got it. Oh, and the barn. Hey, oh, why, this is one of the matches I've been most excited for. Yeah, sure. Shawn Michaels Triple H, Sting Undertaker, Money in the Bank is just as exciting as those matches. Yes it is, yes it is, it is unique, it is unique in his own way, look at Zack Star, he's going for it again! Evan, Evan Bourne! What is so oh, oh my god! Evan Bourne has to be broken in half. Especially for a small guy like him, he's probably going to be wearing a whole body cast after this match is over. I think I think everyone in this match will be wearing body cast after this. Oh, oh, Christian, or not? Preston Burn. And I gotta tell you, ladies and gentlemen, if you see a briefcase meter pop up as some guy is trying to pull it down, that is, that's going to show you how close that man is to unlatching the briefcase and coming down with it. And of course, once that meter runs out, from there, whoever gets lucky and has it in their hands automatically wins, as you can tell. Look at Benjamin with that ladder. Oh, Swagger sent Swagger to the outside. Oh, Hester's is the Christian. Let's note, ladies and gentlemen, it is very, very hard to call in the action 
in this six-man match. Chaos ensues oh. everywhere. You have to keep your oh, eyes on everyone at oh. all times. What is Zack Star doing? I think he wants to take out Christian out of this match permanently. Mm. That's a smart okay. move. That's a very smart move. Taking out as many guys in this match is a smart Wait. move. Oh, Our choice is that's really good. One of the men we slayed into oh, the dark force. To the table. Our table. Hey, wait. Swagger. Try to make sure that our troop doesn't grab the briefcase. Oh. Oh, and both men take a spill. Or actually, no. Our troop does. I'm sorry. Swagger lands on his feet. Oh, wait a minute. What does that start? Oh, minute. no. Oh, no, no, no. God. Oh, I, oh God. my. Jesus. I think Evan Thorne just took the this side of those steps. into a human demolition derby. I think Evan Bourne's dead. Evan, Evan Bourne. Bourne. Evan Bourne has got to be dead. He has got to be oh, dead. Well, he needs to get the ladder. Oh, Benjamin! Benjamin hit that ladder. What? Oh, it was Slugger, and it busted him open. But Bourne, look at this. Bourne is back to his feet. He has no soul, ladies and gentlemen. But he's obviously hurt. Well, by getting that future world title shot any time. He got a chair though. That might be smart for him right now since he's uh not in the best condition. Doesn't matter. Bourne is hurt. He is not in the best shape. But it goes to show you just how much he wants that money in the bank briefcase. Star sets up the ladder. Star, what, what is he doing? I don't think he... It's where he wanted it. He positioned it wrong. Oh, wait a minute. I don't know why he's leaned it up. What is Christian doing? Oh. I, I, oh, I, oh, oh, oh! Oh! Christian dodged out of the way. He had the awareness to move out of the way from our truth. And, but I think uh, Christian was rattled, and that's why he climbed the ladder when, where it wasn't supposed to be. That or he could have been playing possum with our truth You never know. Either That's way, I think our truth is completely crashed and burned to the outside. That might have been what Christian was setting up for. Our truth barely, you know, was able to stay inside the ring. So Christian's playing almost worse. I mean, still it's probably hit our ladder. Regardless, though, I mean. Christian is a veteran in ladder matches, and like we've all said, if anyone deserves to win Money in the Bank, it's him. If anyone has the best cha chance of winning Money in the Bank, other than Shelton Benjamin, it's Christian. Hello, Jack Strider. Oh, Benjamin. Save it. Uh, you can say that uh, Jack Strider wing in WWE, it could win. You can also say uh, Benjamin, past history, r Truth, Dark Horse. Oh, wait, oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Oh my oh god. god! Oh god! Star and Christian on the outside! This corner is busted open! This match is just absolute carnage! Jesus that is, Christ! That is an all! They are dead silent! They're, they're hoping Zack Star and Christian are okay! They, they took a nasty spill! Doesn't look like they're getting up. Edge and Jericho took a similar spill like that at Lashing Back. It wasn't, or not Lashing Back, uh, Last Resort. It right, wasn't Benjamin, pretty. Benjamin, he's got, he's got it. Everyone's locked down. Christian's up. up. Benjamin has the golden opportunity. The gold standard could do it again. He's reaching oh. for it. Oh, no. Swagger. Oh. The idiot, the water hit his head. Oh. These guys... I don't think they're gonna feel all right like even two weeks up. from now. Luckily, WEDF is gonna be on a hiatus. Yeah. Luckily enough, they should they should be on a hiatus after, after such a match. great event like this. Oh, and Zach Star. Zach Star's climbing. Oh, it's Zach Star. Would... Star on his way. Oh, to put him to the Benjamin. top. Oh! Oh! He is back on the ladder! Oh, Benjamin crushing and burning. Oh, wait a minute! What? Woo! 
98 overall, Zack Star kipping up for the win. And again! Up. Oh, wait a minute, he's coming up fast! Oh! That's what happens off that kip up! Re new life for Zack Star! Let's he's got, he's got a second up. wind, I guess you could say. And a second wind anyway. But Christian, Christian was wisely up. sitting yeah, on the outside. Just letting them get their, you know, wear themselves down. That's why he's a veteran. Also recovering himself after such a nasty spill, making sure he had all of his energy back. All right, wait a minute. I can't play. Just what you gauged. Engaged on our troop, Christian could very well be in up. line. I'm pretty of I've done open. it for our troop. No, Benjamin tips over the ladder so they can't climb up. Wait a minute, choke slam. As soon as he delivered the choke slam, he gets taken out. <laughs> yeah, I found that stuff funny. It was like, it, oh, it oh. was, it was. I agree. Christian just working over everybody with the ladder, which Look is at the very carnage. And to his feet was down. Now Archer. Oh, Christian! Him. Now, could be moments away. The instant classic, Captain Charisma, could be Man. ready. But on DDT. Oh, oh, Evan Bourne just stopped him from climbing up the ladder. This demolition derby is amazing. And what, what a bad carnage! This carnage is just very, very brutal. Hey, is that that car. Car. In oh. Oh. Missing that briefcase. That's what happens every time you get there. Every time you take a lot of bumps, you're gonna get woozy. You're gonna think the briefcase is one foot in front of you when it's actually further away from you than you think. And the next That's thing so you know, you're just a dumbass. By the way, look at look at Evan Bourne. Look at his face. He's just covered in blood. He's been taking a beating this whole match. I know how Bourne feels. You get covered in blood, you can't see, you can barely tell where the, the hell you're at. Yeah. But you know what you're doing somehow. Yep, Benjamin. Look at the fights on the top of the ladder. These oh there was our truth. Swagger, truth and Christian. Everyone is fighting everyone, and Bourne's now going up to chase oh, after Chris. Oh, 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 neckbreaker! That had to hurt a little, start a little. Wait oh, a minute. Oh, Christian! Again on Evan Bourne! Oh. That's just, just uh, Shelton Benjamin. Evan Bourne's been taking a whole lot of bumps. He's been taking a lot of abuse, but the kid has got heart. Christian you Christian have Bourne. to give him that! Oh. Elbow dropped Evan Bourne. That was, that was Chris creative. I can tell you what Christian was doing. He was leaning the ladder up and hoping he could run it up, run up it like a ramp, and then jump to grab the briefcase. I've done it plenty of times before. People have seen me do it. The next time, I, don't this it. I don't usually hit it all the time, but I do it sometimes. Well, that's the I think at first, but I think oh, when Christian Chris, couldn't Chris. reach it, that he, that he hit uh, uh, Evan Bourne instead. After you know, yeah. oh, Shelton Benjamin. Well, Christian oh, Shelton Benjamin Chris. isn't doing as good as I thought he would. Well, Benjamin did have that one opening in the match, so like Chris, he got to give credit to that. To this beat, Christian's chance. Captain oh, Christian's got his hands on the briefcase. He's got it! And it's quickly following him. It's Shelton Benjamin! Oh! You're fighting him from the top fighting. of the ladder. He's gonna get the upper hand. Oh! Oh, that's a board! Oh, Again, Evan Born showing that desire. He wants that champion. He wants that championship shot. He's willing to risk his very life to get it. Evan Bourne's got to be losing a lot of blood. Oh, look at that! What? Oh, leg drop on the ladder. I tell oh, you what, this is a ring. Good for you. Oh wait a minute, Zack Star is a whole lot better than the SDAW blood, sweat, and tears. Zack Star, Zack Star, look at him! Oh, 
Oh, he just slipped off the briefcase. Don't you think? Right the quick review? Yeah. It's a, it's a great CPG. Just, just a quick review, I do have to say, WrestleMania is already a thousand times better than expected, and a million times better than any Blood, Sweat, and Tears event ever. Oh. Shelton takes his balls. And right, here we go. Wait a minute. Shelton's oh, yeah. Oh. And Christian fell right on top of the ladder. Where's, and then there's where's this? Where's this? Oh, wait a minute, Star. Star! Star's going up! Zack, Star, but Shelton Benjamin quickly falls. Yeah, he's I know! Zack Star gate. could do it! Zack Star! He's almost there! Oh, oh no! Oh, no. true! Oh. I think Star hit his head on one of the edges of the other ladder coming down. I'll tell you what, all these superstars are gonna have to visit the doctor after this matchup. Thank God WEF has a wonderful medical staff in the back. Wonderful. They do! Yeah, I know. Well, the best in the business. We've kept our superstar pretty healthy. Except Mr. Kennedy, but, you know... Kennedy, he, 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 he was supposed to be injured for so long, that he recovered real fast. Yeah. Hey, yeah, that's a good point. That just goes to show you how WEF's medical staff is... And our truth is busted open, too. That's like... Three people are busted open. Oh! Everyone is blading. It must be TNA. Or TNH, excuse me. The Flair City. The Flair game all black. Oh, Christian! He's got the briefcase! Oh! He's got, got it. it! He's got it! Oh he's my! Got it. Spy! He's got he's it! Wait a minute! Hey, 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 no, but Christian gets it! Christian wins! This is classic! It's finally Mr. Money in the Bank! I'm happy for him. What a great performance from all six of these men. But what an even greater performance. What a greater night. What a greater moment for that man you see. The instant classic, the live wire of the WEDF. He finally gets his shot at the World Championship anytime he wants in the next 12 months. Wow. What a phenomenal match. Say the way he came down with it. Evan Bourne, he's the MVP of that match other than Christian. Bourne has so much heart, so much desire to become the world champion. that he was willing to risk his own life to get it. Came up so short. But but up, up next, we got our tag WWE Tag Team Championship match. WWE Tag Team Tornado Tag Team match. Yeah. It's too cool defending against the ATA, and the ATA made a huge impact. That's what they said. They won tag team title. I must say, though, who's your favorite in this match? I like that it was too cool. Not, not, not too cool, the ATA. ATA still bumming for that ball six years ago to the ATA. Uh, yes, and I, cool. you got to wonder, the APA, they're in Houston, Texas. Bradshaw is from Texas. That is a huge advantage for the APA. This is, this is, this hey, is, uh, the two cool yeah. are actually getting food. If you can hear it, they're not getting a yeah. reaction. The, cr the crowd's, you know, for Bradshaw, you know, a Texan. Hometown here, man. That was usually right hot for these guys. Oh, here go, here they are, your future WED of Tag Team Champions, ladies and gentlemen. The APA. JBL. They are, they are get, cheering. JBL, get ready to avenge your loss from WrestleMania 25 to Joker Mysterio. the APA, who, who are looking very sad. APA are ready to kick some ass, and then go back. Stay back, drink beer, and count money. The Acolyte getting a warm reception here. JBL, you can be boom. Yeah, everyone looks rude, though. WEDF Tag Team Championship 
on the line in this match. It's going to be great because the APA are about to kick that ass and then drink that beer. Yes. Or they would tag match. First control. Oh, first control. Another control. Good thing about it. It's Texas style. Texas rules apply. This is perfect for the APA. But don't forget, Scotty Q.I. Uh, he probably has a uh, able to go longer. Two cool has all the tag team titles. Oh, jeez! Giant spear from hey, Drew. Actually, that's the Batista and Goldberg deliver spears. But look at that spear. Oh. <laughs> Well, the spear we saw Lashley deliver was the first of many spears. There was another one that you just saw. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, Cover. Slam. Cover. Oh, what? oh no. The the PC street, quickly yeah. breaking it up. The APA are easily the favorites of this match. This is their territory. Their like territory. I said, Texas oh, style oh, rules. Oh, oh. oh. Hit both of them with the clothesline. I don't think that was the plan, but still hurt. I think Bradshaw was wanting to get Rikishi to screw Scotty too hotty. Oh, oh, oh! Look at the strength of Rikishi. Scotty too hotty was lucky that he didn't get broken in half. Oh, don't partner. Charisma, charisma versus experience. Strength of the Rikishi. Rikishi's able to pick up. Both Bradshaw and Farouk, who aren't oh, strong. Oh, this is not. Oh, 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 oh I think he's got it. Rikishi is pretty powerful himself, but I don't think I don't think he he's a powerful enough to handle the APA. No, not tonight. Oh, oh. I'm not sure. APA oh. has just went for that oh, close line from the now Bradshaw, oh. it says no disqualification by the way. Oh. Scotty too hot, he just smacked Ron Simmons with a chair. I like think for I I smack back. I think JB accidentally hit uh, Farouk in those flare of chair shots. Oh, you know what's the great thing about the APA? I just caught this. They're both former world champions. They are. Farouk is a former WCW world champion, NWA WCW world champion. Maybe as a former WWE champion, longest reigning in SmackDown history. In over 10 oh, years at that. I don't think I've ever seen Scotty Tuati actually use a sharpshooter. And a neck breaker. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. From hell. Oh, from hell. oh! There it is. Ring oh. the bell, ref. And it's DDT. The the APA standing strong, taking care of two cool and an easy match. They are really dominated by like Angle and Jackpot. It's under. It's under the rules that are best suited for them. We've seen experience apply greatly, and it's done it in both cases for Danny Jackpot and for the APA, and also for Christian, if you think about it. The APA? Two titles have changed hands. One has stayed in the, in the same hand. That could be uh, an omen for the rest of the matches tonight. Hey, next, Hulker, this, I think you're gonna want to unmute yourself now. This match is mm. more about this match up next is more about uh, Celtic Warrior Sheamus screwing Goldberg out of the world title match. And you got pissed off Goldberg as a challenge. And Sheamus made a mistake in attacking Goldberg. I think this is gonna be a yeah. great match right here. Also, match of the year. No doubt about it. So great that Homer should unmute himself to watch this match. Uh, actually, I think that you're correct. I believe it's going to be the match that steals the show. Here comes Sheamus. The Celtic Warrior. 
He's in the if Seamus made a mistake in pushing off Goldberg and costing him the world title match, you think Goldberg manhandled Seamus over the past few weeks. I think anybody who pushes us uh, Goldberg has made a mistake. Seamus is just... The part, he's just one of many who have done the same thing to Goldberg. Goldberg, in one way or another, has exacted the revenge in full. But waking up the sleeping giant may not be the best idea. Hey, just ask Matt Morgan, huh? Since we're talking about a waking sleeping giant. Beware. Uh, to be honest, I was kind of referring to the time that the show beat Brock Lesnar for the WWE title. Right. Same thing. Who cares? You said the sleeping giant line. So I thought of Matt fucking Morgan. Matt Morgan's awesome now. I do agree with that. We have Goldberg coming out right now. I'm just glad I'm not the one who was facing. Well, they're undefeated at WrestleMania. The thing brought Wester in. But you can say maybe a half a star match. Yep. This is, got, this is probably one of the best entrances in wrestling history. No doubt about it. When you see that pyro flow at the top of the stage, you know it's none other than Goldberg coming out. Well, sometimes oh. you might think it's Randy Orton from 2004, but still. <laughs> Goldberg, he's just staring down this play. Goldberg's like slow and methodical. I think he's get. He's about ready to take a. We are back. Goldberg, Goldberg is getting Goldberg. pumped up. Making his. Epic entrance down to the ring. <coughs> and that look on his he face is. just lets you know how ready he is to it's like destroy Sheamus tonight. Intimidation. So All I have to it's say is this will be this will be a match of the year candidate. The no intimidation doubt. factor is something that could be only matched by the Undertaker. See, Goldberg can sack out his opponents before the match even starts. I will give Sheamus. Because he's Goldberg. I will give Seamus credit though, Seamus is not backing down at all. Oh, knee to the stomach. Seamus, surprisingly, in control. Oh, close one. For now. Here we go, Seamus. Oh, 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 slammed him down hard. Oh, Set Goldberg will to finish it early! And Seamus, oh, oh the outside. Seamus being very smart about this. Whoa. Look at Seamus, oh, look at Goldberg, Goldberg knew it was coming. He knew he, Seamus was going to stomp on there, he beat him to it. Goldberg, a very smart man. No doubt about it. Usually the opponents would Ooh. be psyched into that and then be stomped on. Punched him in the jaw. Oh. Oh, another one. Similar to the big show in a way. Oh, oh spear! Spear! Oh, spear! 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 spear. And another one. Spear. Oh God! Spearomania, ladies and gentlemen. Trifecta. Goldberg is oh, going to insult oh, to injury. Oh, power slam. <laughs> spear! Spear! Another one. Oh, spear. Yes. Spira Mania returns! And another one! Seamus has got to be broken up in half. I gotta say, Goldberg, he's oh, not he's wasting time just letting Seamus have it with those spears. This is why me or Homer are happy that it's him and not us. That's exactly correct. And it's seven Ooh. spear! Lucky number seven. Eight! Eight speared! Those it's nine! Because Platinum Age is Grenine. And look at, he's just like... Oh, oh! Pulling with Seamus here. I don't think you want to go for the cover there. Wait a minute. This could be the end. Wait, wait a minute. There it is. Got him up. Make the signal, Goldberg. Put the dot, put the ham, put the, uh, put the hammer on the nail. Let's go! El Dakar! And a jackhammer took us this epic match. Two, two, three! 
What an epic match. What a great match. That was this easily is... the match of the night so far and match of the year. It's the best match on the card. I mean, Superman versus, versus Iron Man. Man. It beats uh, Chuck Norris versus Ben Laden or whatever. I don't think that there's a match anywhere that can rival that. That is simply the greatest match I've ever seen. Uh, two competitors just uh, completely on different levels. And I, I just don't have any words for it. It's that awesome. So, so, Brett Michael is yeah. all king of the ring. Gonna, gonna start focusing on uh, suspect again, Homer. Uh, I believe I am gonna do that. Um, I'm, I'm glad I got to speak for a little bit. I may come back after I, I, I earn my spot on the WEDF roster. After we earn our spots, excuse me. Oh, 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 Giants! You know Two what? I decided sizes. I'm going to stick around for this match. No. Two huge men. Both over seven foot tall. I mean, that's like they're both staring at each other. Monsters Ball for the Hardcore Championship. And this is not going to be any pretty match. You're not going to see a rest hold the headlocks or sleepers or anything like that. You wouldn't see. I Good just power. I just hope that the ring has been reinforced for this match. Here comes the Hardcore Champion, the Great Kali. Defeated Rick Flair. This man is over seven feet tall, four, over 400 pounds. He is. Well, this, and the sad thing is, he's not even the, the the biggest man in this match. That's what is, blows my mind. He's one of the strongest. And this will be, in fact, the Great Collie's final match here in WEDF. Going back to India after this. He's well, going back go to out. Suspect Land. So, uh, so if he wins this match, it's possible. That the hardcore title might be become retired. That will be vacant. Or vacant. Ah. Won't be retired. It'll be vacant. We're still gonna keep that. He's holding it upside down. No. Actually, he's holding it the right way for once. Once. Unlike that one time. You have six un unmatchable tanks in this match. Look at this. Big Daddy. Big Daddy. Man, man. Big Daddy. He was announced as a member of the roster on uh, Raw. Made his, return, yes. made his return in the match with Danny Jackpot and Mr. McMahon as an enforcer. 487 pounds. He beats Kali by at least 60 pounds. And that shows how fat he is. It's 800 pounds in the ring already. All right, no, actually, let me correct that. 900 pounds in the ring. That, it's, it's half a ton of weight, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to have a ton and one-fourth in this ring. A ton and one-fourth. Like, like I said, I hope this ring is reinforced because uh, I don't think anybody's used to seeing this much weight in the ring at one time. Speaking uh, of Mr. McMahon's uh, enforcer, Batista, who was fired because of a fatal four-way uh, a little bit ago, a while ago, was rehired by Mr. McMahon to help take oh out the jackpot. There's Here Dave Ocean Morrison. Jack, Ocean Jacks 2009, right? No, Ocean Jacks 2010. 2009 is Jomo. He'll be in action later tonight in the Raw Money in the Bank, and he'll win. I guarantee it. Well, Batista, though, ever since he's returned, he's looked more focused, more violent. Yeah. Just. Batista's probably the smallest man in this match, though, which is saying but something. He's got power that he might, might be the smallest man, but his power is unlimited. His power is immense for a guy his size. I mean, he it's used to be, he used to be a bodybuilder. Like, you know, I was just about to say that he is a former bodybuilder, so he is trained to lift the weight that is unsurmountable, just unbearable. It's just, it's, you know, he's really ridiculous. Hey, he used to he weigh 300. He used to weigh 350 pounds, which is basically a business weight. Henry is the world's strongest man. 
so World's there's strongest there's no Kool-Aid man! <laughs> That's correct, but there's no challenge too big for him, including and on the past lap, he gave the Great Collie a world's strongest slam. He once eliminated the, the Great Collie in the Battle Royale all by himself by picking Great Collie up over his head. If he ever remembers the Bash Battle Royale. Mark Henry, the strongest man in the world. And literally, he is. Over 400 pounds. Henry has also been a former strong man competitor himself. I think this song is, you know, comparable to what Henry's going to do in this match. It is. It definitely is. There is no question about it. You hear that music, you think Mark Henry. And you think of what he's going to do to you or what he can do. To be honest, I think I'm going to go with Mark Henry as my favorite. Oh, maybe not. Oh. 7-2, 485. Here is the world's, strong, the world's largest athlete, the Big Show. The question is, how are any of these men, I mean, no matter how strong you are, how does, a, how does somebody get take down the Big Show? That's the like show. asking, how do you learn to fall off a 20-foot ladder? That's true. You just don't. You have to just gang up on it, but... I think Big Show has got to be the favorite in this matchup. I mean, he's the complete package for a giant. I mean, he's agile, the most agile of all these men, I think. He, he can do a sunset flip. One thing that is true is that he's got one of the deadliest right hands in the business. Yeah, he's knocked out. Terrible to Michael Tarver. He's a knocked out of this. Mark Henry, Kali. That's why I said one uh -huh. up. And speaking of... And uh, I gotta say that the man that's coming out right now is, is my favorite. He has not lost yet, and there's no reason for me to believe that he's gonna lose tonight. That is a miss. That is Matt, but with all of these men, he's torn through a lot of the roster, but I mean, come on now, five men? I mean, if a big all are, And all of them are almost as big as, are bigger, or almost as big as him. I understand that he's not the biggest and he may not be the strongest, but when you have when you have wins against both the Undertaker and Kane, I mean there's no reason to question your the guy's ability. That's Stone Cold, you beat Stone Cold. Not, right. not to and not to mention Abyss is a former world champion. He never lost that title either. Well he did only due to a technicality was never actually defeated for it. That's the uh, this might be the most destructive and most what What's the word for it? Uh, what makes this so dangerous is the fact that he is He's uh, sick and twisted. He has there's no way to predict what he's going to do. The match is has a evolved, evolved around <laughs> Abyss. It has a around taken Oh look at the step of Abyss! Back to the Mark Henry. I must say that that referee is not the smartest guy in the world. I think that if there were six men the with, the smallest, with, the, with the smallest, with the smallest, big show, big show, that's four hundred eighty-five pounds. Oh, you know what I would do if I were the referee in that match, Matt? I would have the referee get out, and just let the robot referee from SmackDown One take over. Yes. Or that cartoon riff from WrestleMania two thousand. So far, Big Show is all courageous that time. Damn. My big boo. Big Daddy B isn't the smartest person, though. Big Show, I think it's a double team. Oh, wait a minute. Whoa! Picked up Kyle. Hey, He's smart. Double teaming against the larger, larger people. Well, Big Show and Kyle are. Oh, oh, oh wait a minute. Scoop and a bit. Oh, oh, it's just oh, that's just a the zero. There's a I have to kick. say. There's a drum kick showing that he is pretty quick. I have to say, this oh, what is what a true Monsters Ball should be all about. Six men who are basically tanks smashing slam. into each other repeatedly until one is left standing. Oh, look at that. Oh, 
Oh, wow. Mitchell just tossed Kali to the other side of the ring with ease. That's what makes him the world's largest athlete, after all. I think it's actually the fact that he's really tall and fat. Oh, hey, you're, you're tall and fat. Hey, but I'm also sexy. Oh, my God, oh, no. Big sexy Matt Eichhorn. Oh. 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 And now Big Fat. Oh. A bit, uh, working. Oh, hold on. This is pretty intelligent. Oh, my headshot. That camera got a bit up. Remember, folks, elimination oh. rules apply. Oh. Pin or submission. The only Big way Daddy this D. match ends is when there's one left when it's all said and done. Big Daddy D took out Kali's knee, which, uh, Kali has a history with knee problems, if you. Oh, I'm this again! How do you scoop plan Big Daddy V like that? So how are any of these men picking anybody up as they are right now? Abyss. Oh, oh. Abyss just he just. Who is like Daniel? Abyss is living up to his name, the Batista's monster. Fine, Buster. Fine, Buster. Batista's. Oh, oh, one fine. And big show. I was about to say, could Batista have been the one to finally put the nail in the coffin with Abyss's winning streak? Anybody in this match could be. Oh. This is honestly the biggest match and toughest match Abyss has ever had to fight. This match continues. Big Daddy, Big Daddy Vino, oh. are going at it. Oh, big show. Sidewalk slamming uh, Big Daddy V. Oh. Mark Henry's just pounding away on Batista. Yeah, big Wait a minute. Wait, oh. Oh, showstopper. The showstopper. Pip off. One, two, three. Big Daddy V's gone. And a bit. Batista never saw it coming. I don't think any of them is that. Mark Henry ain't Kali Buck. Ooh. Mark Henry, who has got to be one of the favorites in this match. One of the biggest favorites. That's the way he got man hat on. Look at Big Show Kali. Punch. I, you really see Kali really punch. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh, shit. oh. Kali's got to be down. Oh, Big Show. Oh. What is Big Show doing? Oh. oh my! Oh, whoa! Dropped him from seven feet in the air. Big Show, a big knee. Yeah. Okay, Kyle, he was that chop. Oh! That, that probably would have spelled the end for Batista. Headbutt. Stepping on his back. These monsters are just going at it repeatedly. Remind me, I I kind of have a little short-term memory. Who eliminated Big Daddy V again? Big Show. Okay, I was making sure oh, I had that right. Oh, he just got Kali on his head. Oh, Big Boot to Batista. And Mark Henry finally getting a fist down. The big Kool-Aid man finally taking oh, the monster slap down. To the, slap to the chest. Hard slap to the chest of Michael Moore. That's like a oh, skill oh. slapping into your chest. What a move by the big show. We call that the foul. Knockout punch to Kelly and, and one to Mark Henry. Kelly's got to be knocked out. This Both of these men have got to be knocked out. Both Henry and Kali. Big Show with the cover on Kali. Two, three. Wait a minute. Buster's down Shock for the treatment. treatment. Shock it. Shock, Shock treatment. Mark Henry's got to be done. Four men left. Abyss, Hart, Henry, Batista. And uh, Chip Batista. Well, Batista's gone. Henry, Abyss didn't go for the pin, though. Oh, there it is. Okay, but the rest in the ropes. 314. Well, 
One, two, two, two three. and three. It's over for a bit. Oh. Now Big Show is in. It's down to three. Very, very big, big match right now. Oh, literally. Blocked across the knee. And Big Show! Why the hell is this? There's gotta be it for him. Cover. This has gotta be done. Two! Mm. And oh, he kicked out! Oh. Kicked out of the knockout punch! <laughs> Big Show, look at it. So strength! I gotta say, Big Show's gotta be the favorite now. He's in control. He's taking. Big Show has eliminated two of the uh, three monsters who have been eliminated in this match. You definitely have to give props to him. Oh! Abyss. It's, it's gotta be. Crossing Mark Henry into the corner. Hard shot. You can feel it. Slap it against your chest. Looks like that feels like. That's like a skillet. That is like a skillet, not to be confused with the Christian oh, Rock Band. Oh. And Mark Henry in trouble now. And, and I, it's it's over for Henry. Two, three, and four. This is on the two. This is on the top three. three. I have never seen this before. What oh. the hell? I've never seen this before. You've never seen Abyss before? Now, they're trading punches. They're trading punches. In punches. <coughs> Big Show and Abyss. This has been a big encounter between both men just waiting to happen. 5-14. Oh. And a headbutt. Oh. Cover one. Two. One. Cover one. 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 Two. 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 Only a two. But this is a. Oh, don't tell. Me. Oh, oh. It's got big oh. oh. Just yep. picked up the big show. That that was strength. Cover. One, One. Two. two. Another kick out. And Abyss wants to argue that. I'm just showing you frustration. Abyss is a loose cannon right now. Big Show, though, has eliminated three of the monsters in this match. Oh, One left. I haven't this do that before. I have never, and I repeat, never seen Abyss do that before. You just saw him do it five minutes ago. I didn't. Barely have you seen Abyss have to look up on someone. But Rare. this is just working over the big show. Oh, clothesline. Hey, ah, he knocked him down. He kicked him right in the kidney. And this. Oh! Abyss is just a darn shot. Oh, psychopath. Oh, he ain't psychopathic yet, but oh, there's no denying the sheer brutality of this monster. Look oh, at that. oh my God! He's picked him straight up. The abyss is probably. Wait a minute. Oh, elbow to the kidney in him. Who? I've never seen Big Show manhandle like this. Yeah, you have. You saw it on Saturday night for morning's main event with John Cena as his partner. Oh. In the corner now. This oh, is uppercut. The bitch is just tearing him apart. Corner clothesline from Abyss. Wait a minute, he's. Oh. Is he gonna pick him up? Ah, oh, this could be the end. Shock treatment. Shock treatment. That's 485 pounds over his head. And he's he, 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 he,
for a good while because of Abyss. There, there is no one man. I think Abyss has proven that he is the only, the real monster when it's all said and done in this monster's ball. A very big accomplishment for Abyss. Very big bragging rights and very menacing at that too. In the, in the hardcore title still 24-7, right? Yes, it is. But I wouldn't want to be going in the ring with Abyss right now. Or Natalia. Oh my god, it's the other Mickey with massive sharpshooters. Yeah. And I can hear Homer, although he's muted, he just said, oh my god. Well, she says the new Newberry are gonna lose their tag team title. Well, what about a bit? So, so I'm taking it that matches up next. Uh, yes, it is. But wow, what about a bit? I, I don't know honestly who could stop a bit if anyone. I might have one person who I'd like to see take on a bit, but I can't worry about that right now. World the tag team three. title match: the new breed of Elijah Burke and Zack Ryder going against Tyson Kidd. And Davey Hart Smith, accompanied Danger. by Bret Hart and Natalia. I, I have to give the edge to the Hart Dynasty here. I uh, would love to back the Hart Dynasty, but I gotta go with the World Tag Team Champions. The new breed have just been on top of their game. They've been so competitive. They beat Evolution. They beat Undertaker and Sting on SmackDown. Although Undertaker was left hanging hang, hang and dry. That doesn't like it matter. A win is a win. The new breed rock. And also. Captain the Tag Team the Titles. They, they, they're going to take WED up by storm. And they have. those Tag Team Titles from the Damage Gauge. Actually, they beat like the next big deal. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. But they beat the damage gates to become number one contenders and so that distinction between the damage gates. That's right, that's right. Thank you for correcting me on that, Frank Dog. The Hart here comes the Hart Dynasty, David Hart Smith and Tyson Kidd. Accompanied by just Brett this, Hart. And just look at the strength, just look at the uh, build of David Hart Smith. Other Mickey is there by default. She is at ringside, and yes, Homer, I agree. Other Mickey should dump Hart Dynasty for PA. I agree. I think this, this statement is great, and as we all know, Matt Icorn is always right. Always! David Hart, just... Who's your favorite? I'm gonna go with the new breed. I gotta go with the new breed as well. I would love to back the Hart Dynasty, but I just think they're not ready yet. I think the new breed still has something to prove. I, I have to back the Hart Dynasty. Not not for personal favorites, because I'm a big fan of Zack Ryder. But David Hart Smith is is a really, really strong man. And uh, they're kind of Maybe not. They still just saw Zack Ryder overpower him. I think it Zack Ryder's awesome. Davey Hard Smith uh, related, I forget how, remind me to the late great British Bulldog. He was a son. Oh yeah. Well, Tyson was, Kidd was the last oh, graduate shit. of the uh, Hart Dungeon. Before Stu Hart died. They, uh, last graduates oh. from nice the uh, Stampede Wrestling Academy tagging in Tyson Kidd. I gotta say, Tyson Kidd, he screams more of a breakout star to me. He screams like he, he shouldn't even need Davey Hart Smith at his side. I think I think I think Tyson Kidd, um, believe, believe it or not, he could very well have the credentials to somehow become the next Bret Hart. Oh, oh. But they're both both of these men are all of these men are talented athletes though. Oh, there is no denying that. I do not take away their talents. Oh. Ooh. Nice, uh, double team, I guess. Art Dynasty is firmly in control 
against a new breed in the opening minutes of this match. He's a quick tag to isolate their opponent. This is very quick, very good strategy, very effective strategy. Isolating the man and doing the as the fact that they're the challengers and they're doing this ball. The match is roll up. His feet are quickly saving that match, however. Ow. That guy gotta take a breather. Oh, wait a minute. He's trying to attack Bret Hart. Oh, Bret Hart was attacked by the new breed on SmackDown. I am in the Hart Dynasty, you gotta forget that. Oh! Probably not the smartest type yeah, of new breed uh, on SmackDown. Dude, takes advantage of that, though. <laughs> Oliver still says shades of Jason Matthews to the last roll up that just happened. I some kid dragging Zack Ryder. You gotta admit though that the heart that I see, uh, oh, they okay, they want to win this matchup and get a little retribution for that attack on Bret Hart. The heart that I see were not on SmackDown. Bret Hart was a dirty tactic on no respect to Bret Hart. It's doubly good for both men. And speaking of which, the more and more I watch these uh, new breed matches, the more and more I'm impressed with these guys. They got great chemistry for a tag team. Why so did the new breed. They just took advantage of an opportunity. I said. Oh, I said and we're back. Uh, oh, and in, in the set team. Zack Ryder and Tyson Kidd. Nice forearm shot. Dazzle Tyson Kidd. Oh, Zack Ryder's got to make a tag, though. He oh, desperately oh, needs tag. to make a tag to Elijah Burke. Runs up, flip, flip. Big they Show has done that move twice. Wait. Did the ref just stop counting? In the middle of that. He broke it up. Yeah. David Hard Smith broke it up. Very nice He just punched the ref. That's what the ref gets, though, man. Nice backbreaker. Breaking his back. Oh, literally. Yes, literally. Now, the tide has seemed to turn to, back to the new breed. Oh, no, no. Nice combination from the new breed again. Tyson Kidd, uh, Zack Ryder choking Tyson Kidd. Ever since Zack Ryder's joined Elijah Burton, Zack Ryder's been more aggressive, been more mm -hmm. serious. The new breed has actually helped both Burke and Zack Ryder actually both get more no. Both were well, they didn't have anything going for them. Exactly. They're uh, taking, they're taking turns working on, wait, what the? <laughs> what? Well, that was kind of weird. Tyson Kidd's arm. I think Tyson Kidd just tried to break his own arm. Okay. Now look, look at this. Uh, look at this teamwork. The new breed are in control. Oh, Zach Ryder is kicking. Disrespect and right there from Zach Ryder. The they were Oh, the new breed yeah. remind me of MVP. Huh? They're proven right now they are it's worthy of being champions. They're proven right now what they're is, worthy of holding the What was David Hart Smith doing? You can't tag from over there. Oh, There's there. a tag now. And David Hart Smith is fresh. I think David Hart Smith was keeping tabs on Burke, making sure he didn't do anything shady. Shady. Thanks. Sending Zach Ryder. Oh, power oh, slam. Cover. One. 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 No. Oh, um, Earth breaks it up. This is what makes oh, them so great at what they're doing. One. 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 Two. 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 No. I mean, if Zack Ryder hadn't kicked out, that would have been the end of the match. Burke wasn't able to uh, make it there. Burke in time. was in way too late. Oh, oh big my body drop. David Hart. David Hart Smith. Smith. Just showing I got a... Two slams. And now, 
A hard dice, he might be just this close to catching the tag to all no. Break, uh, breaks it up. I oh, have I mean, to agree <laughs> with what Mattude said about David Hart Smith. Very powerful, and he is definitely the game changer, the equalizer of the Hart Dynasty. That that was uh, Zach Ryder's old finisher. He just did. Very, very old finisher. Zack attack or something? No, wait, no. no not the Zack attack, the uh, lifting reverse DDT. Oh, yeah, I remember what you're talking about. Like it like was an ass head. Kid in the oh. I mean, Tyson Kidd's in, too. Oh. Dropping him on his nuts. That's a big oh, drop, wow. very much like HPK. What a drop kick. Isaac Burke is probably one of the most athletic people in the media. So is Tyson Kidd. Both of these men are very, very great athletes. And oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think I know what he's setting up. Elijah for. Experience? The Elijah oh, Express. Oh, no. The Elijah Express. So the oh, oh. take on SmackDown. He gets it! Oh, Zach Ryder knocks off David Hurt Smith! Cover! One, two, three! And the new breed remain Tag Team Champions! And an impressive showing! This was a very, very good match! Very good, very good tag, textbook Tag Team match! New breed, though, are continuing to roll on this momentum! They beat Evolution, they beat the Damage Gauge, they beat the next big deal! I gotta tell you! Yes, and I gotta tell you, these two men, their future is very, very bright despite at the losing, moment. Despite losing, I think the Hart Dynasty will yeah, look back at this and learn from this. They will be right back, and I agree with Homer. New Mickey, or, or other Mickey with the massive sharpshooters in the Hart Dynasty must finally take her place in the Platinum Age. And up next is the Raw Money in the Bank ladder match. John Morrison and the Miz former partners. Now foes John Morrison and the Miz, like the Edge and Chris Jericho of this era, kinda. What do you think of this wall? This wall money in the bank, there's only one person I'm keeping my eyes on, and this is in terms of who's look good from the Royal Reckoning to now. That man is the shaman of sexy, John Morrison. Arguably, this is like the SmackDown money in the bank in a sense where you can keep your eyes on all six of these guys and there's so much star power in that match it's really hard to keep up of who's going to win but I don't know, I think this could be John Morrison's time oh, don't I don't forget Randy Orton Randy Orton is a former world champion former, former WEDF champion at that the very Kofi first Remember Kofi Kingston came real close to beating Danny Jackpot for the yeah. WEDF title a while back that's who got royal and because Homer is a favoritism person for Ohio and stuff, he picks the Miz. Oh, the Miz is awesome. Yeah, true. Kofi Kingston, he's got the crowd on his side. Probably the people love this guy. He's he got Kofi a very Kingston good chance to win. Got, got to be the dark horse in this matchup. Fun and very, he's very much in the same position Jack Swagger was in former mid-card champion looking for that opportunity to shine in the spotlight. This man, you see though, the legend killer, Randy Orton, the Viper, the apex predator of the WEDF, first WEDF champion in history, looking for another title match to get back what he has lost. Remember, Randy Orton for months was screwed by Mr. McMahon and Abyss. Well, because just because Randy Orton just didn't want to join the corporate cabinet. And the corporate cabinet's pretty much dead now, though. So, Orton is probably setting his sights on the WWE. I wouldn't party. say that, though. The APA gained the tag team title for the night. Oh, yeah. And just think, John Cena could possibly defend the WEDF championship here tonight successfully against The Rock. You never know. You just never know. Wait a minute. Gotta wait and see. Wait. Get ready. Orton pose. Yeah. And everybody dies. The end. Just look at this. Orton is probably my favorite going into this match. 
I don't want to say Orton is my favorite. I will say I'm keeping eyes on him, though. I'm keeping my eyes mostly, like I said, on John oh, Orton. He, here's another favorite to win this See match. See that, man. Oh, former, yes. Former ECCW champion. CFR. He's also the only man to ever win Money in the Bank back-to-back. -back. I have to say, though, I think CM Punk, he said a little statement of, of Raw 74, I believe. He says it doesn't, you know, Reverend Morrison is picking up victories after victory. It doesn't have to be the man with momentum. Anyone can win this match. It's the person who capitalizes. I think CM Punk is going to win Money in the Bank here. And here comes probably the biggest dark horse in this match. Dolph Ziggler, oh. Homer's favorite. Well, this is not, the guy. Not, Homer, uh, not, his fa not his favorite, but his dark horse, he says. This is everybody's dark horse. I think Dolph Ziggler is the guy that no one's really keeping their eyes on. But he, he's much like Horton. He has moves that will catch you off guard. And he's, he's got that mentality, that setup, that can just make you think twice. If he locks in that sleeper hold, where are you going to go? He hits it off oh. all five opponents. He can knock them all out and win with climb that ladder. Then he can take five minutes to grab the damn briefcase like Jack Swagger. And here comes possibly my the favorite. Person. Here, here comes my favorite. favorite. That has been on the most of the world since Royal favorite. Reckoning. John Morris. Royal of his career. Taking people like Rock to the limit. I mean, if he could take the Rock to the limit, that's just a Rock win. The Rock is in the main event. The Rock in the main event of tonight's WrestleMania. <clears throat> so John Morrison has a very, very, very good chance of winning tonight. John Morrison has claimed to be the future of the WEDF. A claim that what? was apparently really, really off for a man like him, but has ever since proven that. I like this guy. I like. John Morrison's chances in this Money in the Bank match. And I will personally say that he is going to win 100% guaranteed, no doubt about it. Says the torch is hit. He can do it. He can do it. Trust me, he, he can, can do, do it. it. And I believe this guy can do it. Oh, baby. Baby. There might be a man who might be able to go over more since the Miz, this awesome, former awesome Intercontinental Champion. I just thought of something. The Miz is the closest of anybody to completing the um, prestigious WEDF Grand Slam Championship honor. All he needs is the World Championship, and he could get a chance to become the World Champion should he win Money in the Bank here tonight. If not John Morrison, I would definitely love for it to be that man right there, because he is awesome. I will admit that. That is a good point. That could be a lot for me in this matchup. A lot going for him. Here we go. Oh, starting off with uh, no one's grabbed the ladder yet. Oh, when you want to grab the ladder, a viper. Orton oh, goes. Second money in the bank ladder match of the night. Probably the Raw guys did see the SmackDown. Oh, oh, what's Bob Ziggler doing? What was Morrison doing? Oh, oh. I guess he was trying to hit Dolph. Might I remind you, remind you, Dolph Zig Ziggler went to Kent State, which Homer thinks is great. And he was once a caddy for Kerwin White. Yes, he's come a long way since that point, though. Come a long way. Oh. He'll never come a long way from Nikki! Why? Spirit Squad, do your homework. Yeah, I think. Well, you. we have another Spirit Squad going on um, WWE Raw called Nexus. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. I got it. That's good. That's good. I, I need to write that down. Oh, uh, Orton. 
the letter had been moved, you know, wasn't under the briefcase. The Miz going for the briefcase is too far away. Oh, wait a minute. Oh! Oh! Dumped him. Fucking Miz, former rival. <coughs> oh. Randy Orton, the only, was the only man up. Look at the fucking double team. Boo! And the Miz turns immediately on Randy Orton. Grab the man for himself. Elbow to the face of CM Punk. What's up, Morrison doing? Punching Dolph Ziggler. Oh, I was talking about the setting up the ladder. Man, what are you d Oh, no! Oh, no! Crash and burn! <laughs> what was the point of the Miz doing that? <laughs> Ziggler was trying to go off the Kofi on the outside. <laughs> What is Morrison doing? Don't tell me anything. Yeah. Oh no! What's he really gonna set up the same thing? I, 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 Frank Dog. I, I think, I think Taekwon's dead. He, he just died. Oh God! <laughs> the Mist. <laughs> he died. The Mist. I'm surprised he got up from that. Yeah, I am too. It's, yeah, it's, I'm, su I'm surprised Taekwon's still alive after all of that. Well, you can't blame me for thinking that was funny. Hey, the miss is climbing the ladder. Morrison, um, no, don't do it. Please. I guess oh, not. man! Oh! CM Punk is now dead. He just got kicked square in the heart. Punk is not dead. The Miz is just standing up on the top of the- Oh! 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 oh. No. oh. Okay. Uh, uh, They're both dead. Okay. They're both dead. So, so, so they've, they've apparently watched Christian and Zack Star and wanted to try it themselves? Probably. Well, it, it's the Miz, so... He's, he's not pulling awesome stuff right now, he's just being stupid. But it's the Miz still. You gotta love the Miz. Morris is back up. The Miz is dead though. Oh! This is dead to the world. That's an unnecessary clip. It's. Yeah, Homer says it's part of a bigger plan, but I'm not sure. He's going to try and summon Michael Tarver since they are both from Ohio. But how did. I, I can see Homer doing his Tarver dance oh, right no. now. Uh oh. Still a little bit woozy. How the hell is Miz back up? I oh, Kofi just hit Dolph with the ladder. He wouldn't just threw him off. That was yeah. That's why he's up, WDO. That's why. The oh, clothesline. The heels are gaining advantage. Oh. The Miz. Every, everything is just chaotic, much like the last Money in the Bank. Wait a minute. Miz! Miz! Miz. Miz. Oh! oh. Mm. Kofi! 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 Can Kofi get it? the hand of the got it. got it! Again, that meter showing oh. you how close a man is to oh. unlatching that briefcase. And it's pretty... Oh! I Done done uh, by the Miz. Whoa, the crowd's chanting for Morrison. Chanting Orton. Mixed reaction for Orton. Oh. Oh, I thought it was saying Morrison. My bad. Oh, Orton went in the ring and the ladder fell right on him. That's yeah, horrible. That, that, that was bad, bud. That, well, that, that was the Miz moment of the year, other oh. than the Miz. Oh. Look at Miz, he's just hanging everyone up on the top rope. 
Stun guns to every- Oh! Orton's busted open! Bulldog, I think Punk got Bulldog into the ladder by Kofi. Very nice and effective maneuver. Miss yeah, man. Could this be the awesome moment? No. Morrison! The torch is his! Oh. He grabbed that torch! That money in the back briefcase! Oh! Morrison's got a hand on it! it he or did. not. He did. He had it. He had it. Oh, double team by Morrison and Miz. Former tag team partners. Self-proclaimed greatest tag team of the 21st century teaming up again. He's more than Charlie Hawk and Sean Benjamin. But yeah. It's a... Uh, CM Punk is getting riled up. Oh! oh. Dolph busted open now. Morrison is the only one up. Opportunity of the lifetime. Let me grab that torch. Just grab it. it. The torch is hit. Can he secure a world title shot by grabbing that briefcase? Just a fingertip away. And Kofi. Oh. Oh. The Miz drops them both off the ladder. In Mort well, Morrison was getting up. <laughs> Not anymore. Oh! What a devastating maneuver by Dolph Ziggler. Damn, huh? Ooh. How do these men keep doing this? These, these men are just putting their life on the line. Now, all, these aren't even men anymore. These are warriors. The RK Snapman. Oh, the girl's shrinking for Morrison this time. Yeah, me. I don't think he's close, though. I think he's too far away. But Miz realized that. At least he didn't jump to the outside this time. Oh! Thank God he didn't. Well, Miz, oh no, oh no. <laughs> Again? <laughs> Again? How do you make the same mistake twice? How do you do it? How do you do it? <laughs> yes, he's got his hands on the briefcase. <laughs> Dude, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They go in the same way Christian did. Oh no. <laughs> Not okay. yet. Oh, Mark, you think they ready to go? Morrison's bust open. Wait a minute. Back by Orton. Oh, oh, look at that. Wait, wait a minute. RKO! 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 And that is somehow still alive. How is he up? After two crashed and burned. No, he's got the big case! Oh, wait a minute! Grand Slam Championship Dream still alive for the Miz! Can anyone stop him? Oh. Oh, oh. Almost oh. there! Oh, Dolph Ziggler landed on his feet! Regardless, Ziggler. Liam Polk took up four men with that ladder. Oh! oh. The flying Chuck! Regardless, there is no denying that John, oh. I mean, not John Morrison, but, um, oh, wait, Morrison. The Miz almost Morrison. had it. Oh. Morrison's the only one up. The torch is in sight. He's, He's got, got it. it. He's got it. He's got, He's got it. it. Is he going to grab it in time? No. Yes, he is. What did I tell you? Morrison. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Told you John Morrison would win. And what happens? John Morrison wins. And Morrison gets an opportunity at the World Hit the WEDF Championship anytime he wants in the next year. The torch is firmly in his hand. Now whether or not he can take a full grasp of it, 
has yet to be decided in this man's future. Oh, Triple H. Talking with Michaels again, more respect between the both men. The X back in action? Yeah? Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha! Degeneration uh, uh, X back. That's Chris Jericho and Brock Lesnar in a Your cage. And I've heard on a sir. Heard a sir. See that woman right behind us? Yes. Yeah. Ew! She looks like wet! Oh. Anyway, though, Chris Jericho and Brock Lesnar. Lester uh, wants to make a point. It's the last undisputed champion against the first. Yeah. Also stemming yeah. from the Gold Rush Tournament, Lesnar's still frustrated that Jericho beat him. Things have gotten so personal between Jericho and Lesnar that it has led to the steel cage match we're about to see. Wait a minute. Oh, this is a surprise. King of my world. Yeah. Arguably Arguably, Jericho's best theme ever. The of my destiny. I am the king of all I see. Sorry, I love this song, man. It's great. I hope Jericho wins tonight. Just He's so we can hear this a second time. We saw other returning things as well. Danny Jackpot returned his previous thing. I think uh, coming of age is coming out to another new thing later on. Um. Well, I'd like. Uh. You know, I'm gonna let you finish. But uh, Platinum Age has the best theme of all time. There's your hint. Fill in the blanks. No, I will not fill in the blanks. Oh wait a minute! Here comes the. Brock Lesnar. And the this is big big like game. an MMA fight. You know how they're in steel cages? Yeah. That's I'm another sorry, I... good point. Brock Lesnar has an advantage in cage fights. This territory says, why don't you come in my territory? You can get that lucky victory making me tap. Come in my territory. But like, but like uh, Homer said, Jericho's Jericho. That's good. Yeah. Enough said indeed. Jericho is simply awesome. He's done everything there is about to do. Former world champion himself. Lesnar's a current UFC world champion. You know. See how it goes. Super Mason Chronic. Looks extra hard. Peace, Mason Chronic. I don't think we need to talk about Mason Chronic. No. I don't think the WDF universe would oh. know who he is. I don't think they want to know either. Fortunately, he does. Unfortunately, we do. Brock Lesnar squashed his ass. Hey, anyway, Lesnar. Already. Oh, whoa, whoa. Superplex. The same thing on the top rope. Yeah, it's a superplex. Lesnar, it. all the doors open. Okay. Lesnar could end this early. He's going to end it. It's over. Jericho would want that. Jericho's going to crawl as fast as he can to try and prevent Lesnar from getting out. They're crawling in place. Yeah. Crawling in place. That would be a great name for a band. Hey, someone should name their band that. Crawling in place. How about we name it Taekwon's Mother Sucks? No. Because your mother sucks. All the day. Hey, Jericho, go! Lesnar oh. about to skate. Lesnar Lesnar was eating a rope. Lesnar had his arms out. Well, this is about to be territory. territory. Jericho, drop kick. Nice drop kick by Jericho. If anything, Jericho might have an easier time climbing up over the cage if he decides to. Thanks to his uh, speed, his speed advantage. Oh, well, Lesnar oh. knows more about a cage fight than Jericho does. That's certainly going to give Lesnar a huge, huge, huge advantage in this match. 
Mm -hmm. Jericho's held his own in cage matches, though. He's beat CM Punk before for the World Heavyweight Championship. And he beat Batista for the World Heavyweight Championship in a cage match, too. He also they put on a hell of a fight against Triple H in Hell in a Cell. He knows how to tame an animal. Uh, oh. He also won a, a steel cage in just his suit. Yeah, he beat David Hurt Smith and Tyson Kidd in a cage match. Just dressed in his suit clothes. No wrestling attire or anything. He beat him straight up. A belly belly close. Both these men are equal on the match so far. Oh. Poking in the eye, I think. Or grabbing his nose. It's a face rake, nonetheless. Yeah. Very effective, but Lesnar getting right back on the ball against Jericho. These men aren't pretty equal. Oh. Oh. Face first. And that's it. Looks like Lesnar's gonna. Lesnar's take out his frustrations. Well, embarrassed, they tap out. Oh. Oh, just shoving his Jericho's face against the cage. I think this is more or less the Frank Mir effect that Brock Lesnar is having right now, but now the referee can't stop. Lesnar doing, he's doing whatever he wants to Jericho at will. Pounding on him. That MMA background of his came into hand right there with that pounding and grounding. And now, now he's just being a straight powerhouse. I, I gotta say, this cage has definitely affected Lesnar's style. I think he's taking this more like a UFC match oh. than he is an actual WEDF match. Now oh, Lesnar up the cage. We're gonna escape the cage, but Jericho. Oh wait, here we go! Oh, it's a Jericho. Jericho! Got it locked in. This is the same move that Brock Lesnar tapped out to before. Will it happen again, ladies and gentlemen? Lester, oh. no. He was able to break out. Very nicely. Oh. oh. Well, we have seen Jericho lock oh, in. Oh, oh. Oh, wait, roll up! Oh, Jesus, oh. Jason Matthews! Now Jericho, king oh. upper hand. Now Jericho throws Lesnar into the uh, cage. Oh, thunder yeah. eye. Very dirty tactics from Brock Lesnar. I gotta say, Lesnar has been in firm control of this matchup. He has not let Jericho even get in a move in so much right now. Oh, this is not good for Jericho. Oh. Oh, oh my. It's for all those fangirls out there who love oh, Jericho. Oh. Drastically goes down. Jericho was able to reverse out of it, though. Wait a minute. Oh, what a Powerful maneuver from Brock Lesnar. Here we Wait go. Yeah, oh, fuck! The Hitler drop, as every other move is called other than Brock Lesnar. has this match in the bag. He's got it. That's it. Oh, wait a minute. He's, taunt he's just taunting Jericho. Arrogance. His arrogance goes around. I, I, I think I think Lesnar just wants to leave Jericho at his mercy here. He's gonna climb out. Wait, Jericho gets up. How does this Jericho have this much strength left after that F5? Oh, they're both climbing up the cage. Which one's gonna escape first? Oh no! Oh, he just Jericho's. It's gotta be over. One, two, two no! I, I'm surprised I, that. I'm surprised Lesnar... ...off the top of the cage. I'm surprised Lesnar has that much athletic ability, number one. And number two, I'm surprised, even more surprised, that Jericho has been taking the most of the beating in this match. Oh, elbow drop. Jericho looks to get some momentum back. Lion salt! Lion salt! 
Well, moves like that will definitely help Chris Jericho. Two. Oh. I impact moves, and it's it's what Jericho needs. He has to work with what he's got. He is limited inside this steel cage, unlike Brock Lesnar, who is experienced at this kind of stuff. And Jericho's taking it to Brock Lesnar now. Oh! oh. Lesnar has Lesnar no gift. Launched face first into that steel. Oh! oh. Single leg into Guri! Jericho could be well, well, he can oh, he can play the yeah. finish of match. Just about ready to do a code breaker there. Wait a minute! Code breaker! Code, code breaker! breaker. Go to the pin! This could be it for Brock Lester! One! 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 Two! Two. Get Lester! Oh. Oh. He kicked out of the code breaker! And Lester fell in his belly! If any of you need any confirmation on Brock Lesnar's tenacity, other than in UFC, on just how vicious he is in a cage, look up your history. Look up Brock Lesnar versus The Undertaker. In a hell in a cell. Oh, wow, what a spear. Oh, and Jeff oh, Jeff was busted open. It punches. Ground game of Lesnar is just too oh. strong right now. Jericho is getting dominated on every spectrum of this of this match. Look at Jericho's face. Oh no! In another gut mystery. Very nicely done by Brock Lesnar. He's on another level. Again. Oh, F five. Oh, huge F five. This is over. Lesnar is just a straight monster. Oh, oh, he wants the submission victory. Working in oh. that camp clutch to make sure. Oh, oh no. no. Oh no. The, Walter Let go right in. the ultimate, the ultimate slap in the face to Jericho, and Jericho has no other choice but to tap out. I have to say, I'm very impressed with Brock Lesnar's performance at WrestleMania. Lesnar getting a little, uh, getting a little payback. Lesnar learned from his first match with Chris Jericho, learned what he was all about, fixed the mistakes he made against him the first time, and inside the steel cage in their second encounter, Lesnar has prevailed. Very impressive showing from both of these men now. That's right. But up next, it's going to be a match that is basically about betrayal and partnership and whatever you want to call it. From DCO, Matt Icorn versus Suspect. And if Icorn wins, Fight and Race gets to move up to the main roster anytime they want. And this has got to be a very important match for you, Josh, right? Hey, seriously though, Matt, good luck. Gonna need it. You see, Matt left the commentary booth just now. I've left with him, but I've kept my mic in. I'm gonna pull another uh, Bob Ross slash Chet Lemon or Black Snow moment, like cool. and I'll be at ringside commentating while watching the match up close and personal. That's like coming up to a new theme. Looks very, very serious. Taking this really serious. Well, Stabbed His former friend stabbed him in the back. Thought they were cool with each other. Just like the once free willing, lovable, uh, free spirited, all outgoing character is now he's just turned more into serious. Suspect. All about. You know what? I'll go ahead and give credit to Suspect. Free-spirited or serious, he is, in fact, one of the greatest competitors in call you will face. He is pretty much like, he, he, other than Danny Jackpot, you think about this guy you see right here, the Suspect. 
by my boy Man, Deuce. He's got a really tough challenge ahead of him, but I know he can do it. A lot of people are underestimating exactly what he can do. But take it from me, Matt Icorn is more of a threat than you think he is, ladies and gentlemen. Icorn. He's got a little beef going with Rick the Fishman over on DCO. But tonight it's more on focus on suspect. It's more on the focus of is the Platinum Age going to get to the WEDF? Matt knows the stipulations of this match. I do as well. Yeah, if, you I, two, if you two win, what type of message would that send to the locker room? It sent a huge message. Especially, think about this. DCO Superstar beating one of the biggest names of WEDF today. Former and a current a, champion. Yes, and a current a current WEDF superstar at that. And on the biggest stage of them all at that. It takes true composure for a DCO superstar like Matt Icorn to prove himself here tonight. If he wins, just just think of how many eyes are gonna be open. I'm gonna change out of my attire, ladies and gentlemen. Matt has asked me to change out of my platinum age colors for this match. There you see me in my regular attire. He's told me he wants to win this match for himself. He doesn't yeah. want the fact that I'm in Platinum Age distracting him from winning this match. He knows what he's got to do. He knows he needs to get the job done, and he wants to do it by himself. Hey, Icorn just dragging it to the corner. The power oh. by Icorn. Just like, I'm going to have to use the speed and focus. So we have the power. It's a true battle, again, of power and speed, like we saw with Shawn Michaels and Triple H. I think this match will probably break down into a brawl. My is about 3.30 at least. Oh, well, Suspect kicks him down using that speed. And more punches. Suspect looks like he's about 2.40. Suspect, what is he what, doing? What is he doing? Oh. Oh, cheap shot. Cheap Oh, is that right? Is that right, suspect? Is that how you think it is? Just, just remember, just Cover. remember, I Cover. beat you before. You'll never beat me, never. Oh, punches. I don't think suspect has forgotten what. What oh, you two Shining with wizard. And that shining wizard probably took a lot out of uh, Matt Eichmann. So far, suspect has been in control. Wait, sus. I gotta respect he's the suspect matching. right now. He's using exactly what he needs to do against Matt. He's sticking to what his roots. He's not trying to play Icorn's game. He's sticking to what he knows. He knows what he's got to do. Matt knows what oh, he's got to do. One. I think the advantage has to go to what Icorn. I mean, uh, you've been yeah. in a ring with suspect many times, and you taught Icorn, Icorn all you know. He's also, I've taught Icorn basically all the weaknesses Suspect has. I know how the Suspect works. But Icorn too knows how the Suspect works. We both learned from each other. I it's taught him everything, every break point. Every breaking point that the Suspect has, I know of. And Matt's going to use that to his advantage here tonight. I guarantee you that. Also, the Suspect knows my Icorn's moves as well. You got to factor that. But I think, I think, here's my point, I think Suspect underestimates exactly what Matt Eichhorn can do. What did you think he was all about in the damage gauge? It's all about having a good time, it's all about partying, just all like, just like the Suspect himself was. Matt Eichhorn, with me, he has become more of a threat, more of a danger to your health than ever before. And he's going to prove that here tonight against the Suspect. I can guarantee hey, you I that. Point, I don't think he really wants to win titles. He just wants to punish people. And he has the strength to do it all. Probably one of the strongest uh, members of the DCO roster, if not the strongest. Hey, Zoltar. Ooh. Uh, when Zoltar was in DCO, he was the strongest. Was... Oh! There's a mistake! But don't forget, Suspect also has more experience than Matt Icorn. And that could come into play right here. It's alright, Matt. It's alright. Keep your composure. Don't let him scare you. Oh, 
Oh, close over the outside. Set the race to do it. Oh. Taking him out. Oh! Oh! I think he just took Icor off guard. He took Icor off guard. Look at he's gonna dive. Stop his track and then go. But oh no. Wait a minute. That's right, Matt! Keep it up, baby! That padding isn't very thick either. Just barely oh, enough oh. cover. Oh! And he. Oh, no. Come on, Matt, get him in the ring. Hurry up. Oh. oh. Oh, it's got punched. Being the 10 count right there. Suspect needs to uh, focus more on Matt Icorn and less on uh, Osher Jacks. That could have uh, cost him in the long run. Shining Wizard. Actually, that's a kick to the back of the head. That's not a Shining Wizard. Shining Wizard oh. is with the D. Thank you very much. I'm a wrestler. I know this shit. Technically, it's a Glimmering Warlock. So shut up. Yeah, you got those. Don't tell Ocean Jack to shut up. He's had more experience than you and... Yeah. And I call... Oh, what an elbow oh. drop. All right, what is this right, Matt. He's done. Come on, Matt. Keep it up, baby. You got him. Anyway. This... I got one punishing stuff, but like I said, though... This shit... Oh. Triangle choke. When we tap. Got locked in big I, time. Struggling. What's that? Oh, rolls out of it. This has been a very evenly matched match so far. Oh, punches. What happened to Josh? I'm here. I'm just. I'm just trying to keep it down right now. Matt's got it where he wants it. Oh, oh. yes. What a snatch to the you, 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 you don't think a fat guy jumping off the top rope is bad, do you? Hey. It is. Hey, can we throw him for the fence of fat? Push the fat. Get the fat. There it is. That's right. That's right, Matt. You got him. There's a huge mistake. Suspect with the ring awareness knew, knew where he was at. That's all right, Matt. That's all right. Keep it up. You got him where you want him. Oh, oh. open home. This could be the opening suspect. Need spine bar. That mistake. Icor could have had the match if he had dragged suspect right in the middle of the ring. It's all right. It's all right. We all make mistakes. Come on, Matt. You got this. I'm. I'm telling you guys right now. Matt Icor is going to win. I promise you that. We've worked so hard to get here. I know Matt is not going to let the Platinum Age fail right here tonight. Suspect on. Suspect on. Head scissors. Nicely done. Here's a spine buster. Seems Suspect is uh, just trying to wear him down for now. All oh, the power now. We'll say they're both trying to wear each other down. It's personal. Oh, Crossbody. Nope. It's all right, Matt. You got him. Suspect got a lot of right now. What is Suspect doing? Suspect, oh, driving oh. elbow. He was trying to take another cheap shot again. He better not. Two. Two. And a kick out. I You're not going to put him off an elbow drop. Oh, mm -mm. Wait. Sorry, we're not swagger. You put a chair in the, way, in the ring. Wait a minute. Oh, suspect shuffle. What was the chair for? You'll see. At the same time, we'll see. We used that icon used it. Wait a minute. Million dollar way. Lariat. Connect. It's Hold on. Oh yeah, yeah. How about that cheap shot? You ain't winning this fucking oh. match unless I say so. Uh, that distraction uh, could have cut. 
Custer. I don't give a damn. He cheap shot at me. I fucking deserve that fucking payback right there. Uh uh. No, you gonna play that way with me? I'll fucking play it back with you. Hey, the got another chair. There you go. Another chair. Oh. Yeah. Shades of DCO episode six, I believe. Oh, yes, it, that's Magic correct. Six. six, that's correct. It's got to be over now. One, One two, two, and something. How the world did he kick out? He didn't. Matt Eichel let him up. He didn't let him up. He ain't gonna finish it off that chair shot. I guarantee you that. Uh huh. Finish it off, Matt. You got him. Finish it. Oh. oh. Rowback. Can. Here we go again. Better be careful when I have to get banned from ringside. Hey, I don't care. If I get banned from ringside, I'm just going to fucking sit back down at the commentary table. Oh! Knee. And I can't take oh. it again. <laughs> ha ha! That's right. That's right. Don't think about it. Oh. Chopped it up. Oh, big making a huge mistake. Taking his target off of that icon. Right. Wait a minute. Oh, the mandible tree branch. Yes, it is. Oh, you got him, Matt. Finish it. Uh uh. Un Hawaiian Matt. nightmare. Send him down. Send him down. Is. The Un Hawaiian nightmare. That's it. <laughs> It's That's it. Hey, make sure you drag him away from the ropes. There you go. And you got it. Out. One, two, one, two, three. It's over. And the flat of it. Boy, Matt! We go in the ring and celebrate with him. Fine, and they get to move up anytime they want. Hey, that's history in the making. We're the first ever DCO superstars to get that opportunity at WEDF. That's like down and out. Gotta say though, the Jackson guy got the job done. Got what you wanted. Yep. And this just goes to prove Platinum Age is greater than the suspect. There's Austin and Hogan backstage. They're about to face off next. Hey, hey, Matt. Matt. Or Sting and Undertaker. Bring it in, man. Good job, meow, meow. Good job, good job. What did I say? What did I tell you guys? Did I not tell you I would win? You told us! You, you did! did. Right. Hey, good job, man. Now because of that, we're moving up anytime we want. But right, we hold all we, we have all the power now. There's no telling when y'all will move up, bro. Who knows? Hey, man, I make that. Career for the street. Thing tries to end it. Drink of the Undertaker, but Sting loses, his career is over. Let's take a look at a video package showcasing this matchup. Okay. That was great. And here we go, here comes Sting, the icon. His mind game towards the Undertaker, I think, has been unmatched by any other. The question is... I is this the last time that we'll, we will see him in the ring? I don't know. It's just really hard to tell. The icon thing. I gotta say, me being a fellow icon myself, it, it's gonna be sad to see Sting go. That's losing another one of the names of the icons, but I gotta tell you, Sting has a lot on his plate here tonight. A tall, tall order. The tallest of anybody to defeat The Undertaker and end his 18-match winning streak here tonight. That Undertaker's winning streak has been unmatched. No one in NFL, NBA, sports, or anything has ever matched that streak. Well, technically, you can count the 72 Dolphins, but still. I, I have to say, I think that there's anyone anywhere that has any chance of ending the streak, it is Sting. You're talking, you're talking about the biggest icons from um, the two biggest companies of the 90s. Um, these two uh, 
their careers are, um, I mean, Sting doesn't have the streak, but, I mean, you look at the, the things that he did in WCW and, and his entire career. He took out the whole entire NWO by himself. See, there you go. I mean, he's done things that he, other people, uh, he's done other things that could be considered impossible, so... I think that if there's anybody who has the chance of ending the streak, it is Sting. Oh, look at this entrance right here. This is okay. classic Undertaker, ladies and gentlemen. He is going, his entrance is one of the most chilling, one of the most haunting in the w, or WEDF today. Of course, it's mesmerizing. 18 have fallen. Will Sting be number 19? Be so close to this entrance almost gives you goosebumps. It gives you goosebumps. It makes you scared. It makes you excited. It makes you feel a lot of things. It's just the fact that you're wrestling the Undertaker, trying to do what 18 other men have not been able to do. That in itself is legendary. That you could either be another victim or you could be the one who does the impossible and, I, and let me say so myself if the streak does end here tonight do you think do you guys believe the undertaker will actually retire i honestly no, believe I don't. that the undertaker's streak is his career so i mean this match is almost career versus career i don't know what the undertaker would think if he were to ever lose but I mean that's sort of how I see it. Is this? I mean this is more. This is less streak versus career and more career versus career. I think every time the Undertaker puts his streak on the line, he puts his career on the line. What a career! career but, what a career the Undertaker's had. What a career Sting has had. And this matchup is underway. What an honor it is to call this matchup. It's a, it's a big yeah. honor. This is just either. Sting or Undertaker's final match. It's unbelievable to be at ringside just, calling just, this. It's just an honor to even watch this. Wait, Undertaker landed on his feet. Undertaker has done this many times before. The other thing you got to think about with the Undertaker, and his, he, he might be old, he might be get to the point where he can't wrestle anymore, but he is still one of the most athletic guys you will ever see, one of the most resilient, and that is what Sting is going to find out here at WrestleMania. Sting does yes. into the big boot. Now Sting with some punches. Oh, so we're not down. Don't uh, uh, underestimate the strength of Sting. Oh, Wait a minute. Sting. Oh. oh. The heck oh, that? spinning that spinning neck breaker, and I gotta say, Sting yeah. might be ready to do the Scorpion Death Lock. All right into this. Got to rock in. Not even two minutes in this match, and Sting. He could, he could be looking to finish it right now. Sting, this, this is what you gotta do if you're in Sting's position, though. If you're gotta in Sting's position, you gotta end this as quick as possible because if you take this in 30 minutes or something or 20 or something like that. Taker is just so resilient. He's not even going to be affected. He, he's going to be on another level if you get too late into this matchup. Undertaker's only tapped once in his career, I believe. Oh! And I think that was to uh, CM Punk? Kurt Angle. Oh, Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle. That's correct. Ooh. Sting so That's far has been in control. Oh, I'm by grounding the Undertaker. I gotta say that that's a wise strategy. The icon has looked impressive in the first minutes of this match, and I gotta say, he's doing exactly what you need to do against the Undertaker. Knocking him down. So sure. uh, Sting's matching strength with the big man. Oh. He is oh. inside. The Undertaker's head, there is no question about it. Yes. Look at the arm, too. Just shades of... Not to say it for... Oh, hey! Side of that. Well, that was... He's speaking on it. One. Using leverage. It's, that is no disqualification. 
and you know he's got he's got to do anything he can to win. He's got to do anything necessary. You are staring the 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 the, 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 the dead man. Excuse me, the dead man right in his eyes, and you you got to realize, folks, the demon of Death Valley is on on a different level than he usually is. And that is going to make the difference here. Hold on. So far, ladies and gentlemen, Sting has had the absolute perfect strategy so far. And if I would not say Holy shit! Well, Sting is showing his athleticism. He's doing oh. whatever he's busting out moves he normally wouldn't do. And that is our strategy. Very smart strategy. I mean, Sting is wrestling this match by the books. He's wrestling it like it's sh like he should. There is nothing oh. about his strategy that I would change for a moment. Right now, it seems like the Undertaker is finally starting to get some control. It's Undertaker. Sitting at your leg drop of his. Oh, Sting! Oh, just tosses him inside the ring. Good arm. Good arm. This is a smart strategy. Working on that arm and entering that arm could make Taker unable to do the Tombstone pile driver. And the choke stand. And the last ride. Or old school at that even. A DDT. Oh, it sends him over. Oh, Sting having the wing awareness to dodge. I gotta say, oh. The Undertaker has Undertaker not Shadow. looked like himself. Oh. Sting has looked very, very impressive. I gotta say, I'm gonna say impressive a lot in classic, but it's true. It is really true when I'm saying this, ladies and gentlemen. I am just so impressed by all these performances and by how everyone has stepped hey, their game up. So how everyone... I'm off the table. Yeah, see, that's something you wouldn't see Sting do. I'm just impressed by all these performances here and how everyone is in tip-top shape for the biggest show of the year. Oh, that's not good for the Undertaker. Oh, wait. Taker reverses. What could Taker be going for here? Oh, wait a minute. This is not good. You got it. Oh, my God Almighty. Joke slam. Right through the table. Sting's got to be hurting from that. And Undertaker set him for a ride right through the table. That could be what the equalizer and Sting's momentum. The Undertaker needs to equalize Sting right now. Sting has kept firm control over this match. And with moves like that, Undertaker, well, I hate to say it, folks, but he might be 18-1 if Sting can keep this up. Just the head scissors from Sting. Oh, this match is no different. Oh, by the way. Oh, he missed. Oh, oh. I can't do anything about it. Oh, just beating him with the ring bell. Viciously. Oh. Kicked in the stomach. I'm totally in shock. Oh, and a clothesline. We can never enough to get a clothesline game. We'll see enough. And Undertaker sits up. I'm still just in shock and awe about how The Undertaker has been dominated in this match. This wait, match has been... Wait a minute. Oh, this is not good. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, Sting's looking to put on a show. Wait a minute. Here we go, oh. ladies and gentlemen. Jesus! Holy Good shit! Crazy! Yes, that's the I equipment. Got him, oh. But still! Jesus Christ! Oh. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Scorpion Death Drop death coming! Drop. Is it gonna hit it? Oh. Death it's Drop! Over. It's gotta be over! That's Scorpion Death Drop! That's it's gotta a be over. it! It's a straight over! One! One two! two. 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 Oh. 
I'm surprised that Undertaker can still kick out. And Sting is putting on the best performance I've ever seen him put on in WCW history or, to, or right now. Oh, and that right here. Right here. Sting. Oh, Dumb it. Sting continues the punishment. Undertaker has been eating it up, though. You gotta wonder where Sting is going to give here. Another neck breaker. Could we be seeing the death lock again? Dragging him to the center of the ring. He's gonna lock it in. He locks it in. The Undertaker's history is never tapping out. Undertaker's in trouble. Referee. Sting and the Undertaker's hand will touch the mat and tap out. The fans are on their feet. The WEDF universe is standing, but Taker quickly gets there. And the big one, two, oh. Oh. A clothesline. Sting is absolutely impressive. Again, though, Taker is still standing up like nothing at all. That up. Taker's just been taking this, and he's, he looks like he's fine. He can tell he's been hit, holding he's his midsection. Staying again. What is he doing? Oh! Oh! That, that's where you're from, like, the top row. And yes. Undertaker sits up. Second up, actually. Oh, this is trouble. Taker getting yeah. up. Definitively. Wait a minute. Wait a minute! Where is this coming from? Tombstone! Here it is! It gets it! Wild driver! Taker could end the streak! Or end take a stage career right here! Taker can do it! Oh! Yeah. Oh! He kicked out of the tombstone! That tombstone could very well be what the Undertaker needs, however! Oh! Sting has been taking the Undertaker to the cleaner! How much does these, these two competitors have left in this matchup? Undertaker! My god, I, I just don't believe how, how Sting has done against the Undertaker. Oh no. Snake eyes! Snake eyes! Looking for the big bullet oh. snake! Oh! Oh! What's Undertaker no. going What is Undertaker doing? Oh, don't tell me. Don't oh, tell me. No. Oh, oh my god! God! Oh my! Look at the replay! Just look at this! Under oh, oh, oh my shit! Holy crap! That is textbook Undertaker! He always puts on this kind of feat at WrestleMania and now I'm, I'm just surprised that Taker's able to fight back against Sting. Sting's throwing everything he's got. I don't think he has anything left against Taker. Maybe this is what Taker was planning all along for Sting to waste all his energy. Now the dead man is in firm control of this matchup. Old school. Old school. And here it is. Connected. This old school. Yeah. Old school. Yeah. Old school. Old school. Old school. Old school. Old school. Old school. Thing. Oh, oh, Undertaker reverses. Wait a minute! Oh, Slam! He's going for it. Hit it! Slam! Oh, my. Oh, he signaled for the end, ladies and gentlemen. When Taker signals for the end, it is. He's going to send for a ride. It's going to be no ordinary ride, it's going to be the last ride! Last ride! Sting's last ride! Oh, last ride from The Undertaker! This thing's last ride here is his career over. One, two, two! Oh! Oh! Takes out! Unbelievable. Simply unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. I'm still fighting back. Sting is still giving it everything he's got. He's not going down against the dead man. Just an incredible match here tonight. Incredible. An incredible yeah. performance between these two men. Neckbreaker from The Undertaker. Undertaker trying to get back in control. Oh, wait, no one home. Wait. Dude. 
thing! Scorpion Deathtrap! Is he gonna- He hits it! It got it! That could be it! Where Two Scorpion Deathtrap! Two Deathlock! Death is it over? One! Two! And three! three. It's not no, it's not! It is oh, not it. over! The Grand Man! Oh, wait a minute! Again! Choke Slam! This has got to do it. One! Two! One, two. Oh. oh! Oh my god! How how are these two warriors it's still not able not to fight? Fly through the air! I think Taker dodged that close line. Meeting of awareness. Jesus okay. goodness, these two men are killing each other tonight. Here we go again! Joke slam! Ah! Uh. Oh. On for it, but Sting is fighting. Never no disqualification. Very smart move by Sting. Wait a minute. Under to where did it come from? Charles oh, Sam. There it is. It is. Could it this is, be oh. it? Could this be the end of Sting's career? Setting him up for it. Here we go. Second tombstone. And. And no one oh. usually kicks out after the second. There it is! Cover. Undertaker. Oh. This has got to be. One, two, two, two. three. So far. Stink's career, his legendary career, is over and the streak remains. Night I am, and oh. Night I am, and oh. I'm shocked. I'm extremely sad to see another icon go. But I cannot be sad with this great, this amazing, inspirational performance from both men. Sting has clearly been the toughest opponent that The Undertaker has ever faced to this day. But The Undertaker reigns supreme for the 19th time. In his yard. What a match. Gotta give it to the, both of these men. I, I, I do, I do gotta get into focus. I can't speak on how great that match was. I don't think anyone here can. And we've still got greater matches, maybe, to come. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, Heated Feud, Stone Cold and Hulk Hogan. Coming up next, these men have been wanting to get their hands on each other. Now they get the opportunity to do it. First time ever. Yep. Right out. Oh, wait, wait a minute! minute. Rick Flair! The Nature Boy! 16 time world champion, one of Sting's closest friends and bitterest of rivals. And his career, Rick Flair's career, lasted another day whenever he won that pre show. Yes! What brings Ric Flair out here? I think Ric Flair... Uh, we still see Sting in the ring, ladies and gentlemen. I think Ric Flair has come out to personally congratulate Sting for such an amazing match and thank him for his time in wrestling. Remember, for, for those of you out there who follow WCW, Sting and Ric Flair, two of the biggest names to come from WCW, and one of the most heated rivalries. Oh. History. King's oh. farewell. What a career. And up next, we're going to show you a video package of Stone Cold and Hulk Hogan. Get to it. Get ready for that, cool. ladies and gentlemen. It's going to blow the roof off the place if Undertaker and Sting didn't do it already. Well, what is so important shit for two close friends that they've known for so many years? No. The only.
Stunner! 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 Hulk Hogan! What? What the hell? Oh! Declining! The challenge for Hogan made! Wait a minute! Wait, wait, wait! John Cena remains the WWE Champion! Thanks to Hulk Hogan! Wait a minute! No! Gold! Stunner! The Bionic Redneck! Wait a minute! Hulk Hogan! Hulk Hogan is on the stage and Austin is distracted! Wait a minute! Rock from behind! Taking advantage of the distraction! Here it comes! Ladies and gentlemen, Front Rock! of the Rock's fans standing on their feet cheering for the great one as he will be going against John Cena! Man, that's beat Stone Cold lost his very crucial match to get the Rock to determine who would go on to face John Cena thanks to another interference from Hulk Hogan. <laughs> WCW. Hogan held everybody down in WCW. Ah, and Hogan thinks nothing more of it than just he gets what he wants. gotta say I feel so glad to be here tonight I feel as a part of history first time ever match happening between Stone Cold Steve Austin and the immortal Hulk Hogan now I'll start with Hulk Hogan returned at Royal Reckoning then the next night on Raw he wanted Stone Cold but Stone Cold said no Hulk Hogan then made Austin's life a living hell until Austin had no choice to say well you know what you're on Cost him the WEDF Championship. Cost him another chance at the WEDF Championship. Did anything he could to get Austin to say yes. By the way, someone should thank the, the person who made those video packages because they were amazing. These promos are on point. I gotta say, whoever did this should be commended. Great, great job. Get ready for the roof to blow off this place for the next entrance. Get ready. Just think about it, we still got two matches to go after this. Anyway, there are two main events. This is main event worthy though, too. Hulk 
Hogan. Possibly, no, guaranteed the biggest name in the history of wrestling. Hulkamania running wild again tonight. Red and yellow waving over the WEDF one more time. You gotta say though, is this Hogan's last ride? I would hope so. I mean, no offense to you, Hulk Hogan, but you gotta let it go sometime. This is your way to do it. Get your match with Steve Austin. Win or lose, go home knowing that Hulkamania will live on. Hulkamania will run wild forever. This matchup, they are on, on their feet. They will stare down. This is That's flat. The biggest stare down in wrestling history. Similar to that of Rock and Hogan. They tore the house down. These two are going to tear the house down tonight. I even no, tear it down more than rock. The crowd is booing Austin. This is his home state, too. Just Look at this stare down. Remember, they, these fans have so much respect, so much love, so much care for Hulk Hogan. Austin has, been avoid, Austin has been avoiding him up to this point. And, well, I got to say... I, I, I gotta root for Hulk Hogan in this match. I just have to. I honestly want Austin to win. I mean, I think it's time for Hogan to pass the torch. I know he's not going to give it up easy. I don't expect him to. But I think Austin needs to prove himself here tonight. Hey, weird. These two are going hold for hold. These two are not known as being technical wrestlers. Two more. Mostly rely, Hulk Hogan mostly relies on a strength. Austin is a brawler, Hogan is a powerhouse. So it is. This crowd. You're cheering anything Hogan does and booing everything Austin does. It could also very well be divided for Austin. I mean, I the strength. to this crowd, this jam-packed canal. 80,000. 80,000. 80,000. 80,000 80, and millions more are watching this at home tonight. It's just an honor to be here again, but still, it's just mind-blowing to be commentating through all of this. I want to thank both of you for being here tonight with me. I, I mean, I know I shouldn't be, but still. Oh, Hogan. It has been an honor. Thank all the specialists for putting on this show. This has been one of the greatest nights of my life. And, and this is why. So, what is it? What is it? Who is Austin in Houston? Who is hometown of Austin, Texas? Right. Actually, he's from Victoria, Texas, by Detroit. the way. Never mind. Victoria, Texas. And look at that brawling on the outside. The argument still applies. It is his home state. And I'm, I'm just surprised that Austin is getting this negative reaction. Just shows the love for Hulk Hogan. And just the million, just the thousands of Hulkamaniacs in, around the world. Millions of them. I think I understand it here. I think Hulk Hogan and the fans all feel that Austin needs to earn his respect, needs to earn the respect of the entire WEDF universe before he can truly advance in his career. But the match has been uh, mostly Austin. I was Stone Cold and Hulk Hogan actually were partners at one point, if you remember. Oh, wait a minute. Suplex. We'll cover now. This could be it. One. One. Two. No. Wait, he's got him up. Oh. oh Austin showing up a little powerhouse, but not good enough against Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan made a career out of being a very, very strong man. 
He body slammed Andre the Giant. Enough said. That started the memory. And Hulk Hogan at the cool line. All the way from Andre to Austin. Got me. And now cover now. Austin quickly gets his shoulder up. Look at the reaction though, these fans. All of these fans are going ballistic. Oh. Dodge the leg drop. I got I gotta say the crowd is red hot tonight. As they should be. Everybody is lit up like a damn Christmas tree. Two! No. I'm gonna kill. Oh! We know okay. Hogan's had problems with that leg. But he's wrestling at peak form tonight, as is Stone Cold Steve Austin. And he could... Oh, oh wait a minute. Oh, John, he, he, he might be doing his thing and pulling out some new tricks in this match, and that's what you gotta do. He's giving it his all. That was a soup slam. Giving it their absolute all here tonight. That's gonna be it. Oh, Hogan had his foot under the ropes. Win awareness of uh, Hulk Hogan. Ooh. You know, I just want to say I wouldn't have commentated this match if it weren't for you guys here. I wouldn't have commentated WrestleMania unless it was you, you two here with me tonight. I think uh, I, I feel the same way. I'm pretty sure Frank Dog feels the same way too. No words need to be spoken on his part. Oh. And now Hogan with a club and head blow to, to the back. Yeah, well, well, uh, somewhat of an even match. Hogan has Hogan has the uh, edge right now though. Can and also come back. Yes. That's another cool one. Hogan with a clothesline again. This could be it. One. One. Oh, two. Man, one. No, one. This match feels absolutely Wait a minute. incredible. Oh, no, so this crowd is red hot. Hogan and Austin oh. in peak form. We're getting a good old school te technical wrestling match. We know Austin is capable of it. I'm surprised Hogan is still capable of it. Oh. And I gotta say, ladies and gentlemen, this is the best match I've seen from both of these two in their storied careers. Oh, something a mud hole right now on Hogan. Issues. Oh, cover. Hogan grabs the rope, though. Hogan is that experience. Wait, those punches seem to have no effect on Hogan. Hogan gets dropped. Oh, but he, but he gets right back up. Oh my, Hulk Hogan is hulking up. Uh oh. Ooh. Oh. It's, oh, the punches. He can, Wait, did they? That's the fans cheering. Oh. Look at that big boot connect. That big what would be coming next? Atomic leg drop, maybe? Or not. Plug to the back. I think it's coming soon. Think you can tell. Wait a minute. There it is, a scoop slam. I think leg I drop think to come. Oh, 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 off to the oh, top. Oh. Oh, that press? Catching oh. Ogan by surprise. Very, very nicely done by Austin. Oh, just yeah, stomping a blood bolt repeatedly on him. Oh, 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 oh. good slam again. Going for the leg drop. Wait. No. Oh. He just. Oh. That's now he hits the leg drop. drop. Now it's got to be over. Cover. This has got to be over. Leg drop. Over. Two. 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 Oh. Oh. Oh, my God, ladies and gentlemen, 
the atomic leg drop is usually a one shot kill. Oh, okay, he's on it. Carver. Oh, wait a minute. And I'll hold it with a back. Nice. 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 Oh, I mean, despite all the hit injury history Hogan has, I gotta say he's he's wrestling at 200% tonight. Also now, all oh, Corbin. Hogan seems to be getting the uh, best of Austin right now. Very back and forth. This oh, is classic geez. Hogan. Another one of those big boots. Hogan and Austin back and forth. They go. Oh, another Corbin. Wait a minute. Let's. This. What is Hogan doing? Oh, he I don't burn out Austin. He knows Austin's not gonna lay down after one atomic leg drop. He knows he needs to do Wait, more. Go from behind, no. Oh. Yeah. Chop. Austin oh, okay. gonna fight back. Send him to the corner in the clothesline. No, Sophie. He's dropping like an elbow. And now they're trading punches. Punch. Or back and forth. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait. Stunner! Stunner! The stunner! On the Austin! But Hogan just hit the stunner on Austin! But Austin! Take it! Oh, yeah, big it. Hit the ball. Oh, oh, oh. Wait. And now Austin! Wait a minute, wait a minute. Turn. Pile driver. That's Hogan's signature pile driver though. Wait. Oh wait a minute. Stunner! Stunner! Wait a minute. And another one! Another one! Another stunner! It's it's gotta be over. The stunner's in a pile driver. All at once. That's it. That it's is it's gotta it. be it. One, one. two, two. Oh, man, it one. Hogan kicked out! Oh, I often can believe it. I'm I'm literally speechless at this point, ladies and gentlemen. However, in the world, Hulk Hogan. How is Hogan fighting back? Hogan kicked out of three finishers at once, his own and two stunners simultaneously. How is Hogan fighting? Hogan's hulking up. Uh oh. Good slam. It's time for the atomic leg drop to be coming once again, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, elbow. Again, stealing Austin's signature elbow. Oh, wait a minute. No. He's got the pile driver. No. Austin catches him. Hogan back to his feet. Wait Hogan again. Now he's got it. Pile driver. Yeah, we're all neck okay. problems. We're running right out of his neck. It's gotta be it. One, One two, three, no! Three, no! Austin kicked out of the pile driver. My God, what a match! At least he didn't drop a like. Yeah, don't say it. Oh! But Austin now. Ooh! Oh no! Fire! Oh my God, ladies and gentlemen! I, I gotta say, I can't believe it. Lucas Press! This could be it. Oh, stomping a mud hole. And here yeah. it is. This time, all the hits it. I think, it's, it. I think it's time for the end. Wait a minute! Oh wait, never mind. Stunner! Stunner! And oh, no. oh, no. I just gotta do it for Hulk Hogan. It's gotta be over. Yeah. Hulkster's gotta be down on cover. Oh, One, two, two, three. Stone Cold wins. A very, very aggressive match. What a beautiful match. What a red hot crowd. And there you hear the fans cheering again. You can tell, ladies and gentlemen, these fans. That's what he's got. Stone Cold Steve Austin taking Hogan to the limits. 
and defeating it with that Stone Cold Stunner. Wow, and it? We still have two more matches to go. Yes, the world do. title match and the match everyone has been waiting for. John Cena versus The Rock. Oh, there's Triple H. Triple H in the back with Sting. Triple H wishing he could have had a chance to face Sting. Both men sharing respect between each other. A great night for Sting. A great career once again as Sting is out on his way out of the building. This will be the final time we will ever see Sting in a wrestling match or in wrestling ever again. Wow. Up next, though, ladies and gentlemen, World Heavyweight Championship match. It all comes down to this. Edge, Matt Hardy, Rey Mysterio. Who will win? Triple threat. It all started when we tried to find a number one contender for the Gold Rush Tournament. Edge ended up scoring Matt Hardy and Rey Mysterio. Let's take a look at how this came to play. And here we go. This is Matt Hardy. A main event for SmackDown. The World Heavyweight Championship seems set to be defended in a triple threat match. Here's Matt Hardy, a oh, former world champion, is making his way to the ring right now. former world champion has been in heavy pursuit of the World Heavyweight Championship ever since losing it in that Survival of the Fittest Elimination Chamber match. Came up short at the Royal Reckoning. Has one more chance here tonight at WrestleMania. Can he get the job done? He seems really, really focused. This was supposed to be Matt Hardy taking on an MVP at Royal Reckoning. And Smokey somehow gets involved with that. Ed got involved by Vicky Guerrero due to the bad booking from Theodore Law. Bad booking. It's all started. And then Vicky Guerrero, she did both players in there and Matt Hardy. Ow. This all, this all started, ladies and gentlemen, if you remember the Gold Rush Tournament, the chance to find oh. a number one contender to face Edge. Here tonight, Matt Hardy and Rey Mysterio fought through many men, Christian, uh, Shelton Benjamin, Sheamus. Chris Jericho. Goldberg. Uh, well, Goldberg. Goldberg. He got taken out by a technicality. And Brock Lesnar. So many men they had to face only to get screwed out by Edge. But thanks to an action from Shane McMahon, thanks to a courteous action, Shane said, let's put them both in. And that's how it became a triple threat. And that's how it became the button. Rey Mysterio has won the World Heavyweight Championship at WrestleMania before. He did it for Eddie, and he'd do it again. In a triple threat, nonetheless. Yes. Yes. Some edge. They were playing honors honors to his hometown of San Diego with the San Diego shoulders covered. Here comes Edge. He won a fatal four-way after being added by Vicky Guerrero. Has been very, very adamant toward Teddy Long in his booking. Thanks to Vicky Guerrero, Edge was able to regain the World Heavyweight Championship and now stands tall against these two men he has to face here tonight. I gotta say, Edge has been in two multi-man matches for the World Heavyweight Championship. His odds are not very good. The champion does not have to be pinned in a triple threat match. Rey Mysterio is aware of this and so is Matt Hardy. So Edge has to be too. Well, All these right men. The is very successful in multiple man matches. When he's a two time winner. He's won the first ever Money in the Bank. That's correct. Very first winner of the Money in the Bank won at its won his inception when Jericho suggested the idea. 
Here we go, this triple threat match is Oh, Rey Mysterio getting right down the business oh. against Edge. Kind of a double team right there. I double team and Edge. Strategy, though. Get rid of one competitor and then it can be uh, all by themselves. Double side oh. effect. Yeah. Remember, Edge and Mysterio have had tremendous beats with Edge over the years. Both of them for oh. their own reasons. Hardy tried to turn on Mysterio. Well, it's a man for himself. Exactly. Ooh. It's every Very man for true. himself. You do not trust anybody, especially when a championship, the world championship at that, is at yeah. stake. There's Mysterio high flying already. Seems to be a... Uh... Oh, oh, he sent on. Mysterio's, uh... Somewhat dominating the match right now, using his speed to his advantage. Matt Hardy and Mysterio, they followed the Cruiserweight Championship many years ago. Back when Adam the Cruiserweight West title meant something. Event. Oh, at that. Back when the Cruiserweight title yeah. actually meant something and didn't have a Keith Cutler wannabe winning the matchup. <laughs> oh, uh, slam him uh, down. And a moonsault. Cover like, oh. Man, Hardy breaks that up immediately. I, I believe I just heard a guy named Oatch marking out over the fact that Mysterio did a moonsault. Maybe. Mysterio, uh, fighting back. I heard the man Hardy. Hey, this is with that boot wildly. Punches. Triple threat like this is no disqualification. Wait a minute. Edge and Matt Hardy working together. And that's a move usually reserved for the uh, Hardy Boys. Well, Matt Hardy and Edge have had their history. They know each other very well. And I gotta say, ever since the whole thing with um, uh, Lita blew up, I think Matt Hardy and Edge have been on fairly good terms. Not great, but good. Oh, kick to the back of the head. Yeah, Matt Hardy uh, helped Edge actually beat Jeff Hardy for the world title. Oh, that's correct. Look at this. The stereo. Oh. But Edge breaks up immediately. Let's to break it up. Oh, chop Ooh, This is not characteristic. Go for a chop block. It wears, uh, wears Edge down. They might not be able to catch him. Might not also be able to uh, do that spear to the full effect. They just had oh. injury problems in the past. That's Holy correct. Shit. He's had problems with his shoulder, had a few problems with his ACL. Coming off a big Achilles tendon injury. And kicks. And Matt Hardy. Irish whip. Working on it to a pin. Oh. Oh, great. Great You're move. not going to get it if Edge is standing around. Edge has been isolating himself from Matt Hardy and Rey Mysterio while they've been killing themselves. But uh, yeah, Rey Mysterio, Rey Mysterio has had surgery five times in his left knee. Ooh, drop kick. And to be fair, Matt Hardy's had a few problems with his own. All of these men have. But wait a minute! 619 on the There it is. See the same time. It's oh, spear. The spear. And eight. Gotta be over. Pick up the scrap. This one. one over. Two. Two. Oh. oh. Hardy kicks out. The oh, oh, off the heart. It's about stuck again. As long as Goldberg, uh, well, Edge doesn't pull the Goldberg and make it Spearomania Part Two, we'll be fine. Man. They're coming out with still. Mania yeah, Two. Second later, Rey Mysterio would have done it for Eddie again. Oh, and first DDP. Oh, E. Oh. Oh, I swear. Hit DDP on Matt Hardy. So much is on the line in this match. Edge and Mysterio were working together on Matt Hardy. All the possible combinations have happened. Oh, and think about this, now that I think about it. 
what would happen, however, if after this match, Christian came out and elected to cash in his money in the bank ma contract? What, what would happen if after the main event, John Morrison cashed in his money in the bank contract? That's so many questions you have to ask yourself. One, so two, many. Neckbreaker. That could be something that what? It could be Edge and Christian, right? WrestleMania. Maybe John Morrison and Rey Mysterio. Never know. Possibility. Anything is possible from here to WrestleMania 2. And I gotta say, whatever comes along the way, I'm going to be very excited for it. This WrestleMania has not disappointed me, and I cannot wait for Season 2 of WEDF. Fitting punch in Inzaguri. Matt Hardy, nice combo. And Platinum Rage will be great. Spoilers. Mysterio. Yes. Oh, wait, that's not spoilers. That's something everybody knows. What is spoilers, though, is that PA is going to be for 69, if you know what I mean. Look at that, Hardy taking control. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Who's the, Who's the fade? It's gotta be over. This has gotta be a new champion. One, One two, two, three. Two. Oh, Mysterio breaks it out. Mysterio, just in time. He was about a millisecond away before the match would have ended. And that was Not Mysterio. Oh, that was about half a second. Half a second. I'll try to make it sound more dramatic. Oh, oh. Matt Hardy's busted open. There he, uh... Wait a minute. Just Mysterio. Oh! Spinning wheel kick from Edge. Uh, and just punching away at uh, Matt Hardy. Spear! Spear! Drop kick into the corner. Now Edge is in control. Oh, there's no disqualification. As ultra buffets are. Could Edge be thinking concerto? Yeah. And I think he is. I don't think he's thinking Concerto. I think he, he, well, he could. Oh, yeah, he is. Never mind. I take that back. He's thinking Concerto. Oh, Stereo kicks out Hardy. And, oh, oh, the Stereo. And that Hardy. Edge. Oh, on the edge. <gasps> now, this match is good on the outside. It was oh, oh, Stereo. I don't think he got the full effect, though. Takes him out. Regardless, it still gets the job done. Rey Mysterio is the only man up. And now Mysterio in control now. The ultimate yeah, underdog looking to capture the World Heavyweight Championship once again. Crowd chanting 619 fully behind Rey Mysterio. Mysterio is the ultimate fan favorite. He didn't send the other edge on the outside. Picks up Matt Hardy. He tosses him in the ring. Very smart strategy. It's so long as... Never mind. If he keeps the uh, edge out on the outside, he could uh, have a free chance to pin Matt Hardy. The longer one person stays down, the easier it gets now for the ball. other man to win. I heard it, remember he's been busted open. Oh, kick. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Can he do it again? 619. Ray Mysterio oh, can do it for Eddie. Mysterio, cross oh. flash. It's got to be over. One, One two, oh. No. Oh, 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 my God. Arch breaks it up. And that oh, back side. Oh, it breaks it up. That's Just the pick up. Oh, oh. Chair. chair shot. Oh, chair shot to Hardy again, and then chair shot to Mysterio. Oh, I think I know what... Oh. Oh, no. No. Oh, oh, no. 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 Oh, Jeez, he's keeping it from his ankle. I think Hardy's out. Hardy could very well be out of this match. Oh, I thought got him fired from the WWE because of it. And now he's got another chair. By the way, did you know he works great? Speaking oh. Of oh, oh, oh. Oh, come on now. Oh. Added insult to injury to Matt Hardy. This is Wait smart. Come on, Chair Toe. 
Matt Hardy is out. Oh, what on earth is... Edge has still got this chair in his hand. What on earth is going on here? He's sl sliding. Wait a minute, roll up. Whoa, what the hell? Oh. Dude. Two, and Rey Mysterio is not yet the World Heavyweight Champion! We still oh. got a match! I think I'm with that chair! Oh, chair. chair! That could be it! Oh, come on with the chair! One, One two, 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 three, they just get retained! I think Matt Hardy is unconscious from that concerto! He hasn't moved! Regardless though, it is still the World Heavyweight He's Champion! Seen. You gotta be very, very, very proud of this. It was no disqualification. Edge did what had to be done in and order to get the job done. Is still the world champion. Well, we still, Edge is still gotta look behind his back, though. Christian could very well come out and cash in right now. Ed just gotta have eyes in the back of his head, but so does Christian. Remember the history of the Money in the Bank briefcase. One moment you let your eyes off that thing, someone like Mr. Kennedy will come along and steal it from you. And up next, that's what everyone's been talking about. It's our main event. Main event. John Cena versus The Rock. And let's Two of the look. biggest men from the 90s and the 2000s facing off. Play that promo. It's the star of the 90s versus the star of the new century. Here we go. Rock. The match everyone has been talking about. The biggest match in WED of history. John Cena versus The Rock. The Rock went through multiple... The Rock went through multiple fatal four ways. And Stone Cold Steve Austin and John Morrison to get to this point here tonight. The main event slot against John Cena in front of the millions and millions of WEDF fans watching this tonight. Also, BBM is in attendance. Hi, BBM. How are you? Hi, Primo. No, I'm kidding. I love you, Chris. You hey, the, Rock is ready. the Rock is ready. In history. And Cena wanted this match for many years. Finally, it's get the champ. It's the champ versus the people's champ. And here comes the champ right now. The doctor of Psychonomics, John Cena. The, the only WEDF champion. The only two-time WEDF champion at that. I think Edge was, isn't Edge technically a two-time world champion? Two-time world champion, not WEDF champion. Yeah, okay. Okay. Actually, it's, it's, not, it's not that. It's John Cena. Remember, John Cena has been vocal against The Rock. Mm-hmm. Rock comes back, and Cena says, you have to earn your respect here. And if Rock wins tonight, he has certainly earned any respect he gets. Here, here it go. is, man. Here it is. The WEDF Championship displayed the hardware on the line. John Cena versus The Rock. Get ready for the main event of a lifetime, ladies and gentlemen. Stare. Match is underway. There's kind of a little bit of technical difficulties. The audio is a bit off sync from what you can see on the television. We'll try to fix that, but look at the stare down between these two. It's not that the audio is off sync. It's just the, 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 the tension between these men is so thick. You can cut oh, it with yeah. a knife. These fans are waiting in anticipation to see this happen. Here we go. Ready for an epic fight. Oh, punches. Right punches. Got game out for hand. Oh, oh close by. Close by. <laughs> Adrenaline. Fans are on their feet. 80,000 on their feet for this historic matchup. And the Cena. Millions and millions more at home. Cena with the clothesline on the rock and Cena. Oh. Just punches. Sends him into the corner. 
clothesline. And a bulldog. Into the Dude. forest for that. Just kick to the stomach. Seen an Owen Hall back body drop. Big back body drop. And the rock is ready. He could be going for the people's. Uh, oh. no, not the people's. The people's bottom. The, rock bottom. the people's bottom. The people's bottom and the rock elbow. Oh, yeah, John Cena. Wait. Look at the fisherman suplex. The uh, signature uh, fisherman suplex of his one. Two. Oh, no, just the one count. And the rock goes to the right, right hand. Oh, wait a minute. E. 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 Signature snap DDT e. from the rock. A cover. One. 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 And he Cena won. kicks out as well. He's still gonna give it their all tonight. Oh, wait. Rock. People punch! There, oh, there it is. Not like senseless. Like The Rock said, he's going to give it all to John Cena. His blood, sweat, tears, his absolute best. Blood, sweat, and tears of The Rock. He's going to give it all to these fans. The millions of The Rock fans. And millions. And millions. And the millions of rock fans around the Wait, world. Hey, Cena, drop, don't hold. He's going to be going oh, for the I SDF. No. Cena, neckbreaker. Neckbreaker. It is neckbreaker. Next snap. What a historic event this WrestleMania has been. Oh, armbar. From top to finish, we know Cena and Rock are going to finish strong. We just don't know, like we have for us many. We just don't know what these two are going to bring. Wait a minute. Picks him up. Rock, snake eye. Cena dodges under that. Into the corner. Oh, knees to the stomach. Leave right to the side of the head. The champion just laying Man. into the people's Over camp. Now. One. One. Two. Oh no. Just the one count yeah. still. Oh. Look at that. He's going hard right hand. Oh. Chop. Sends him off the ropes. Spine buster? No. Throw back. Roll back. Roll back. Cover. Cover. Only a one, I think. I don't even I, think the count was heard. Shut up. The rock, oh! Wait a minute! Small oh. drop! A small one drop! Rock paying heritage to... To Rocky Maya Via Sr. Only a one count, I think. Ducks to the right hand again. See ya! Oh, silver knocked down! Signature shoulder knock down. Shoulder block from John Cena. And Steve. another one. Both of these men. Both of these men are former football stars. Who who would ever think minute. these guys would make it this far? <laughs> That's classic Cena with that. Those are for five knuckle shuffle. From the gridiron to the squared circle, these men have definitely come a long way. Oh. And a DDT! And another yeah. next snap. Oh, I think it's time. Here it is, the five knuckle shuffle. Shuffle. Another rock, you can't see him. And... Oh. The five knuckle shuffle. And here we go, is it time for AA? The attitude adjustment! No, Aaron Alexander. Oh, wait a minute, oh. But well, the rock gets out of it! Throw it about a throw! And now a cover! Gotta do it! One! One! Two! Two! No! Back and forth, these men go. Another punch from John Cena. Both men trading shots. 
Oh, Bulldog. Right on the highway with a clothesline and then Bulldog. Cena. To the fans in intense scoop slam. He's got to do it. Cover that one. One. Two. 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 No. Fucked up for that. Shot to the chest. Cena. Very, very back and forth between these two men. This is what you've all been waiting for. The big payoff, the finish of the night. Oh, people's clothesline. I gotta oh wonder. Old school. Oh. Russian leg sweep. Hey. Anyone can do that move. The Here's the cover. Cena quickly had a rope break. S serious question though. Who do you guys have in this main event? I, I want to hear something. Oh, I, mean, I gotta go with The Rock. A rock of athleticism. I'm gonna go with John Cena, surprisingly. Cover. Cover now. One. Oh. One count only. What do you go with, Josh? I'm going with The Rock. I mean, The Rock is athletic. The Rock is simply the greatest entertainer there is. He has charisma unlike any other. Yes, John Cena could be this generation's rock. Yes, John Cena is a hard worker. Yes, John Cena is dedicated to wrestling. But when you talk about star power, when you talk about who has the best mic skills, when you talk about who is simply the most electrifying wrestler in sports entertainment today, it is none other than the human known as The Rock. They're fighting on the outside. Cena went to the outside. The Rock now. Oh. I can imagine why you would support John Cena, Frank. Why? Well, I mean, I, I can see this both ways. Ooh, Cena has off. something to prove against The Rock. Cena wants to prove that The Rock needs to step down. The Rock has spent too much time acting and not enough wrestling. Cena feels like The Rock shouldn't even be here. If The Rock's going to spend his time in making crappy Disney movies over doing something that Cena is not going to leave doing no matter what, why is he still here? That's a very good point. And Cena wants to prove it to these fans, even though some of them might be divided on him. Stomping on Cena. Both of these men, they care for the fans in the biggest way possible. They're doing all of this for all of you out there at home and for us at the commentary table. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. I think I think I know what he's going for. That flag drop. I'm trying. Oh, cross the back of the head. And see it. Wait a minute. See it. See it. Here it is. Stop that. Hang on. Can he somehow get out of this? Can he reach the ropes? Can the great one somehow manage to not let down the millions and millions of fans in attendance? But oh, he rolls off out of it. Well, it took a lot out of rock. Oh, oh, no. Block the punch. Punch for punch. Punch the men go. Oh, Andre. Unbridled resilience from both of these men. And this match is simply living up to the hype. Now, Rock is with. Wait a minute. Oh. Oh, never mind. I thought he was going for Rock's signature spine buster. Oh, oh. Where is CDT? That could be the opening the Rock needs. The pen. Rock is holding though. Cover that one. One, two, two. no. Take out in two. Also, you got to think about this. The corporate cabinet's last hopes lie in on John Cena right oh, now. The corporate cabinet. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Hey. Wait a minute. There's no. No way. John wait, Cena's wait. really going to do this. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. He's running the ropes. The by John Cena. Oh wow! Oh my! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Fox going to return the favor. Here comes attitude adjustment. The attitude adjustment. Cena gets up. Wait a minute! Oh no! Never mind. Oh punch! What a trade of finishers just now. And a back back. 
Neither oh, piece. Here. And, oh, here we go. You can't oh, see me, Rock. Running the ropes. Oh, there it is. Oh. Now Cena has opened the gate. Wait, wait, wait. Rock bottom. Rock bottom. Rock bottom. To the rock. He did the people's elbow. Now he's doing the rock bottom. This could be it. John Cena can win right here. Cover. One. One. Two. Two. No. no. My goodness, ladies and gentlemen. What an exchange between these two men. They're giving it everything they got and more. Huh? Millions and millions of the rock stands standing to his feet. Dana, oh, oh I get the up. And the rock now. And the DDT. DDT. Oh, elbow. Oh, millions and millions of the fans watching Rock continue to lay a smackdown cover two! Oh. No! The Rock is not yet the WEDF champion. Neither of these men are out of the valley of death yet. My goodness, what an epic main event. The Rock now. Wait a minute. If you know oh, it. again? Oh, never mind. Let's do it, Coward. Let's do it. Also, Coward with a punch. Nice punch. Very oh, back and forth. Dodges. The Rock. Another Russian leg sweep. Anyone, even The Rock, can do a Russian leg sweep. Even you at home, even Earl Hebner, even the referee in the ring. Even Horace Wong can do one. Oh, oh it's Spinebuster. 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 You got to go for the people's elbow. One elbow pad is off. I think it's true, is it? It's fans are off. It's like fine movement. Sports entertainment is coming. I'm sorry. He got the people's elbow. Wait a minute. What's not done? Oh, another attitude adjustment. No, no. Attitude adjustment. Excuse me. Here it is. Attitude adjustment. And the right. What is he doing? Oh. Oh, wait a minute! Wow! See this STF walked in and exchanged back and forth! Both men are going finisher after finisher, all for these fans! Cena gets out of it! Those got to give up. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you are a Cena fan or a Rock fan. I can see you all out there. You are all standing on your feet, just like the 80,000 fans at home. Just like us at the commentary table. Just like everyone else. The other millions of fans. Just like you all to see who will leave as the WEDF oh. champion. Oh, yeah. Then they got hung yeah. up. And then neck pressure. Yeah. Oh, Rock. Right. It's time to end it. Rock is feeling it. He's in position for the... For the rock bottom. The same, oh. oh my! Say it oh, up. Wait a he caught him out of nowhere. Oh wait a minute, see that again! Rock bottom! He is it. There it is! Cena could very it. well do it. Dragging him to the middle of the ring. Ladies and this must be it. Cover one. One! Two! two. two. Oh, go. oh my god! Back and He's forth. Exhausted. This is a main event. This is a match. And the Rock yes, is in the top. He's gonna put everything on the line. Oh, what a match! No one is sitting down right now. Wait, no wait, one. Shooter. 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 Fuck him. Cena. Cena has to tap. Oh. oh let's go of it. Rock never holds in that truck too. Wait a minute. I think he's shutting up for the Rock Bottom. Rock Bottom. Rock Bottom. There he is! The real Rock Bottom! That time! New cover. New cover. Gotta get over. One. Two. New champion. No! No! He kicked out. Wait a minute. He's going to up. Wait a minute. No. Attitude just begins. No. Not yet. Not yet. Uh oh! 
Oh, Back and forth. forth! These men are electrified! Fuck Spine Spinebuster! Here we go, ladies and gentlemen! The Rock has got it set up! Taking off the other elbow pad! Throwing it into the crowd! Look at the arms! The arms! The big man that really has our standing! Adam, he picked it off! Oh! Andrew, no! No! And attitude adjustments! This has gotta be it! One, two, one! Right Boom. One more to go. The trifecta is coming. This could be it. I don't know if Cena will survive after this. Rock is looking in the crowd, swinging the arms. This could be the final blow. Here it comes. Oh, the people's elbow. The people's elbow. The people's elbow. We got a new champion! Fucking new champion! Oh my god! The Rock is the champion! The Rock has done it! The Rock has done it! The Rock wins! The Rock wins! The Rock wins! The Rock wins! Oh my! What a champion! What a main event! What a night! What a night! Folks, this has been WrestleMania. I am OCJX. This is Frank Dogger. Rock is the new champion. What a way to go into the end of season one of WEDF. We will see you all for season two of WEDF. Until then, good fucking night. And a rock. The new WEDF champion. What a celebration this man is putting on here. He what deserves it. He honestly deserves it. And for Homer as well. The Rock. And Matt too. And Matt too. And BBM. And all you guys at Something Crawful. And on YouTube. Thank you so much. And the for your support. Forum, the SMF forum. Call Mainstream. Call Rikia. Their emotion. Everyone you in the whole community, thank you so much for watching WrestleMania. Good night. Get ready for season two. Good night from WEDF. By God Almighty. Oh,